can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, chapter 621, land can be traded, that piece of land is pretty good. We can eat this cake. Zhou Qingbai stated as he watched at his wife. Lin Qing, he raised an eyebrow and looked at him, how to eat. Our family doesn't have that much money. Loan. Zhou Qingbai's steady gaze remained on his wife. After the opening up, it was encouraging a group of people to get rich first. Then lead the others to wealth together. So the loan conditions were very convenient. As long as one have the ability, they can go for loans. Even with so many assets in the family, it can still be borrowed. When the required amount was huge. Lin Qing, he didn't expect her man's appetite to increase as he got older. For this piece of land, he even thought of loans. Lin Qing, he contemplated. There was some hesitation. After all, the money needed for this was enormous. This is a rare opportunity. The loan can be slowly repaid, Zhou Qing Bai persisted. If they want to buy it in the future, it was basically impossible. Because it was too expensive. How can it be so easy to buy? If they want to buy it, they can buy it now. Hainan will earn a lot by then and replenish a lot. Zhou Qing Bai said. Lin Qing, he amusedly said, is that piece of land that great? If you want to use it for farming, it won't be bad. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. He saw it when he drove out for a stroll. Although it was remote, it wasn't bad if it is used for farming. After all, roads were being built in many places now. With the roads, it will definitely be easy to get there in the future. Lin Qing, he smiled and said, I thought you would want to cooperate with Wang Yuan. He is super rich. Do it ourselves is fine. Zhou Qing Bai replied. He didn't want his own business to be mixed with other people's. Besides, their family wasn't incapable of taking down this piece of land. No need to share the cake. Lin Qing, he said, take me to see tomorrow. Okay. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. The next day, he sent her daughter to kindergarten before driving his wife out to the suburbs. This piece of land was indeed relatively remote. It was very spacious though. The land had great potential for farming. Lin Qing, he felt it was wonderful. How did you find it? Lin Qing, he said while walking with him. I got nothing to do, so came out and explore. Zhou Qing Bai explained. In the past two years or so, he hadn't been doing very much in other stuff. Just bought a lot of properties in many good locations in other urban areas, including several factories and houses. Lin Qing, he even teased him. Wasn't he worried about forgetting them when buying so many? Zhou Qingbai gave her a book to see. These properties were clearly noted in his book. And there were related documents such as property deeds. Can they possibly forget this? In addition to handling these properties, the remaining time was Zhou Qing by wandering around. He wanted to buy a large piece of land with the desire to leave it for what his wife planned for in the future, set up a green organic vegetable base. In fact, he had taken a fancy to this piece of land since last year. But last year it wasn't allowed to buy or sell land. This year, the new policy had passed down. The land can be traded. So, Zhou Qing Bai's heart moved and even thought up of the loan idea. Lin Qing, he came back with him after a round of strolling and said, Let's go to Hainan first. N. Zhou Qing Bai had no objection either. He often read the newspaper and naturally knew how fast that side's development was now. So they must go over and check it out. After all, this was a great opportunity. Do you want to take me me? Lin Qing, he couldn't help but ask. I have to take her with us. I can't feel assured leaving her for them to watch at home. Zhou Qing Bai answered. Since daughter was born, she had never left him except for going to kindergarten. How could he let her stay behind? Let third mind? Who knows how that rascal will raise her? So even when they go to Hainan, have to take her with them. She's so young. 
you can sure, toss around. Lin Ching, he disgruntledly said. I won't tire out my daughter. Zhou Qing Bai comforted. With him minding, he would take care of everything. Lin Qing, he let him do, as he liked. When they went home, Zhou Qing Bai went to open the dumpling shop. Lin Qing, he drove over to Mother Wing's side, by herself. Mother Wing had been operating her clothing store for the past two years. It was obvious when compared to two years ago. Mother Wang was dressed up as a successful superwoman now and looked more energetic and confident. Josie and I helped out at this side. After all, she wasn't very comfortable and didn't want to go make trouble for her fourth aunt. She waited until she was better before going to continue working. Fourth aunt. Seeing her, Josie and I happily greeted. Morning sickness, got better? Lin Qing, he asked. The last two days have been much better. I guess I will be fine after the first three months pass. Josie and I replied. She's anxious to go to work. Finding time, Mother Wing said while serving the customers. A young girl was hired in the store. Plus herself, it was almost enough. With a few customers picking clothes, she worked away first. What's the hurry? Yesterday, I talked to your mother on the phone and mentioned about this. You should take care of yourself first. Wait until it's okay, then discuss. There is still some time before it end. You should work for your mom's side. Lin Qing, he said. I also said the same. I would like to get more help here as well. Mother Wing spoke. Lin Qing, he turned to Zhou Si and I. Zhou Si and I smilingly stated, I'm still used to working with fourth aunt. There was no complaint about her mother-in-law's treatment toward her. But she still preferred working at her fourth aunt's side. She liked the atmosphere over there. Of course, the main reason was that she was more familiar with that side. Although she had a good relationship with her mother-in-law, it was better to keep a little distance and not work in this clothing store together. Her second sister didn't even go to her second brother-in-law's garment factory. Instead, she managed the tea business for her fourth aunt. With a bump, it'll be inconvenient. Lin Qing, he said. It won't be inconvenient. Just take a bus and arrive in a few stops. It's just being pregnant. When my eldest sister was pregnant, I saw she enter the field. Josie and I replied. You are used to being roughly raised by your mother. And still say just being pregnant. Don't be sloppy. Pay more attention, understand? Did the cook the sea cucumber I brought you in a kanji to eat? Lin Qing, he spoke. I have. Zhou Si and I nodded. Her fourth aunt had said eating it was good for the baby, so she must eat it. Look at the twins, Pang Pang and Mimi. Each and every one was smart, no? It was due to eating well while they were in the belly. So even when she was unaccustomed to the taste, she persisted on eating it. Drink more of Christian carp soup and the like, Lin Qing, he advised. I have. But what I want the most is to go over to work. Zhou Si and I smiled said. Chapter 622, Mutually Praised, When You Come to Work, What About Guadong and the Others Daily, Three Meals? Holding your stomach and running back and forth? Before, your sister had it more convenient and lived close. This side one meal, that side another meal. And your side is far away. Lin Qing, he pointed out. She didn't recommend Zhou Si and I to continue to come to work. Mother Wang finished serving the customers. Two pieces of clothes were sold. After sending out the customers, she came over. She spoke, I know eldest's wife want to go to work, but it's actually the same to come to mom's side. It's fine for you run back and forth like this, with the pregnancy length is short. But the later stage? Everyone is worried about you. Josie and I pursed her lips and looked at her fourth aunt. Lin Qing, he honestly said, I agree with your mom's statement. You should nurture your pregnancy. Occasionally, go over there and let your grandparents and the others see you. Josie, and I hesitated before saying, then I will be here. 
when I have time, I will go over. Mother Wung smiled and said, isn't this fine? Mom would still give you salary you every month. You don't have to worry about having no income every month. When you give birth, I will give you a big red envelope. Mom promised you. Thank you mom. Josie and I smiled. There was nothing to pick fault with her mother-in-law. She was very kind to her, even when she had married in for almost three years and didn't get pregnant until the end of last year. She didn't say a word of complaint. Only that it was their own life, they can decide by themselves. As for the baby, she didn't demand for a son. She said whether it was boy or girl, it was the same. Not patriarchal-minded, at all. Josie and I didn't say anything, but she was grateful. She was also more grateful to her fourth aunt, who contributed to her marriage in the first place. She was really not sure that after marrying someone else, she would have such a good life. What Josie and I didn't know was that Wung Guadong, as well as Mother Wung, were satisfied with her, as their wife and daughter-in-law. Wung family was a veritable well-off family. The conditions were great. Such a family wanted a daughter-in-law who takes care of the house. Obviously CNI was housewife material. She was top-notch at cooking delicious food. What's more, she was a motivated person who liked to study. Who didn't like this kind of woman? Of course, those who were shady would criticize. Josini's work matter was resolved. Lin Ching, he chatted about other things with Mother Wang. Mother Wang has naturally made a lot of money in the past two years. An average income of 1,000 or so yuan per month. There was no need for the surrounding area's clothing shops to compete business with her. They can forget about earning. She had saved a lot of money. I heard Wudong said that he was going to be allocate benefit housing in a while. Is it true or not? Mother Wang asked Zhou C and I at this time. Josie and I nodded, going to be allocated. In fact, from the beginning of the marriage, Wang Guadong can be allocated benefit housing, which were also called apartment. This so-called apartment was in self-contained independent housing with relatively complete facilities. They'll be allocated something like this. Different from Lin Ching He's one, below, there was a kitchen, bathroom and bedroom. And because of the benefit housing allocation policy, the housing prices at this moment had actually risen quite slowly. Because many people were keeping an eye open, waiting for the benefit house to be allocated. Because of the existence of benefit housing, the value of the house was limited. The benefit housing allocation system was abolished at the end of the 1990s. Lin Ching he spoke, Guadong definitely picked a good one, right? Zhou Si and I smiled, he said he had seen it. It's good. We will move over in a while. Right now, she and Wen Guadong live in a rented accommodation. It wasn't big though. The accommodation wasn't bad. Still, it was quite average. She looked forward to the benefit house that her family, Guadong, mentioned. Since Guadong said it's good, then it's really good. Lin Qing, he nodded. Mother Wen grinned, there's also house allocation. If just relying on his salary, plus the retirement payment, he may not be able to buy a good one. What's the matter? He got an iron rice bowl. If it is not enough, he can directly get a loan and repay it slowly. Lin Ching, he said. I've heard of loans for business, but not loans to buy houses. Mother Wen commented. Now you heard about it from me? Lin Qing, he smiled. Skipping over this, the topic shifted to Zhou Kai and Wing Mei Jia. Mother Wing spoke, the two stinky boys got married one after another. This year is finally Xiao Kai and Mei Jia's turn. I have been waiting for a long time. Once Mei Jia gets married in the future, they both will be over that side. Can't see or care for them. Lin Qing, he responded. I heard from Mei Jia that there is a kindergarten at her side. As long as the baby can crawl, she can put it in. When she is pregnant and have a baby in the future, she will take a vacation for seven or eight months. Once the baby can crawl, she can go back to work. 
It's fine to leave the child in kindergarten, Mother Wing mentioned. You even asked about this? Is it safe though? Lin Ching, he said. It's in the community. Especially for minding the children in the community. Definitely safe. They will feed milk, biscuits, and meals. All of them will be taken care of. The tuition fee is a bit expensive. It costs 50 yuan a month. Mother Wang explained. Many people got an increase in their salaries now. Still 50 yuan per month was really expensive. As long as they take good care of the child, then 50 yuan it is. Our side will pay for it. Lin Ching, he stated. That side's wages were relatively high. For example, Zhou Kai himself, he can get a subsidy of several hundred yuan a month. With Wang Mei Jia's income of more than 200 yuan a month, it wasn't actually a big problem to raise a child. After all, it was only a few months. When the baby is older, the tuition will be much cheaper. Because it will easier to manage. When it's small, it's really troublesome. They didn't understand anything when peeing or the like. They aren't married yet and mom and fourth aunt is already discussing this. Josie and I found it amusing. Aren't they going to marry this year? As soon as the marriage settles, should consider about a child. Mother Wing replied. It depends on them. If they want to give birth, they will. If they don't want to give birth for now, they won't. Not just Mei Jia, even we can't help much. Let them decide. Lin Qing, he stated. After hearing these words, Mother Wing's heart felt more at ease. She jollily said, Mei Jia, it's her blessing to marry into Zhou's house. Don't say that. My eldest can marry a wife like Mei Jia is his blessing. Lin Qing, he responded. The two of them mutually praised. Zhou Si and I was embarrassed from listening. When the matter was over, Lin Qing he spoke, I plan to go soak in the hot spring the day after tomorrow. When the times come, I will come and take you with me? Now eldest's wife is happy to stay and help, I'm free anytime. You can come anytime and I can leave at any time. Mother Wing happily replied, but this time I'm treating. I also want to bring Xiao Mei and Er and I along. If you aren't afraid, then I'll let you pay the bill. Lin Qing, he said. Then let's go together. Mother Wing grinned. Chapter 623, Mistress Lin Qing, he didn't head straight back from Mother Wing's side. It was still early. She strolled through the business under their name. Zhou Gui Lai wasn't at the dumpling shop, but drinking tea with Ma Ching Min at the tea shop. She stopped the car when she saw this. When my old mom wears these high heels, she got the air of Miss Hong Kong pageant. Zhou Gui Lai grinningly remarked when he heard the sound of his mom's heels. Lin Qing, he wore low-heeled shoes with a bag on her shoulders. It was coupled with a trendy dress. Truly, she got that air. After hearing his son's teasing, Lin Qing he spoke, look how leisurely you are. Has High City's side been decorated? The decoration is finished. Grandpa Jiang called me. Zhou Gui Lai replied. Lin Qing, he turned to Ma Qing Min, Qing Bai, and I are going on a trip next month. It will take some time. No problem. Gui Lai, and I can work on that side. Ma Qing Min nodded. Though Lin Qing, he had trained Air and I as a manager, Ma Qing Min's position was still unshakable. Lin Qing, he relied on him. Of course, on the premise that Ma Qing Min was willing to work for her. So she won't treat him badly. Aunt Ma had previously opened a dumpling shop with Huang Xiaolu. The business was pretty good. It wasn't as good as Zhou Qing Bai. Still, there were hundreds of yuan each month. Uncle Ma went to help. The whole family had something to do. However, Ma Ching Min didn't want to go over. He preferred to be a manager here. Because there was a lot of things to do. The salary Lin Qing he gave him was much better than other ordinary employees. Others got 170, while Ma Ching Min's salary was 230. The absolute high-paid tier. 
definitely won't treat him badly. Not only did Ma Ching Min have a good salary, he felt working here was nice. Because he liked the environment very much. Lin Ching He, Zhou Ching Bai, and Third wouldn't treat others badly. They treated him as a friend. So naturally, he kept working. In addition to training new employees, you have to train two or three store managers there. It will take a little time. You don't need to rush. Once that side is settled, come back to take charge of this side, Qingmin Third, you will do the follow-up at High City. For food and accommodation, go to your grandpa Zhang's house. Lin Qing, he instructed. Zhou Gui Lai expressed there was no problem. Lin Qing he asked, where is Er and I? Sister Er and I went to second brother-in-law's factory. Zhou Gui Lai grinned. Seeing him like this, Lin Qing he squinted her eyes, did you say anything unacceptable when you went over to settle the bill? Mom, don't misunderstand me. I'm not such an insensible person. I just went to see the two new accountants. Zhou Gui Lai said. Don't need worry about one of them. She was a little older and had no remarkable looks. But the other. Her looks were okay. She was also proficient in accounting. It was because of this, Zhou Er and I recruited her. Although there was a boyfriend, her boyfriend wasn't as good as his second brother-in-law. So Zhou Gui Lai went over to ask, but didn't say anything important. Lin Qing, he didn't lecture him. After all, since Er and I dared to recruit, she should know it in her heart. Better not get too involved. What she didn't know was that Third had a chat with Wang Yuan for a long time. Mentioning that his eldest brother was about to get promoted this year. When his eldest brother gets married, it should be his second brother's turn. With the heiress of the political commissar. Though Third verbally said words of envious, he was actually giving Wang Yuan a strike. Wang Yuan sensed it and felt helpless. How much of a lady man was he to make Third worry about him? When Zhou Er and I brought two genes of Dehongpo to him. Wang Yuan mentioned, just now, Third was here and gave me a good warning. De Hong Pao Ti, when Zhou Er and I heard it, she knew that Zhou Gui Lai had come to talk. With an amused gaze, she spoke, what did he say? Said that his eldest brother is going to be promoted. That his second brother is going to marry a heiress and may get into politics in the future. Told me to do not toss around and not bully you. Otherwise, I will not have any good fruit for me to eat. Wang Yuan said. Er Sanwa won't say this. Zhou Er and I didn't believe him. Wang Yuan smiled and said, the meaning is almost right. Then you have to listen. I'm not without a maternal family. For the sake of our family, keep in it mind. Zhou Er and I poked his heart and stated. Although she loved this man, she will not tolerate her own man's heart, not having home and her family. Not on her. If he is unfaithful once, she will never forgive him. Because there is the first time, there will be the second time. This matter cannot discussed. In fact, with Wang Yuan's development in the past two years, Zhou Yi and I did feel a little restless. Originally, their identity was very different. Now that he developed so fast, she was worried that the distance will get bigger and bigger. However, she never said these words. She wasn't a woman who sink in spring and autumn sorrows. She put the utmost into doing her best. If she still can't keep him, there was nothing she can do. In the past two years, Zhou Er and I had heard and seen many things. When she was talking on the phone with her mother, her mother mentioned to her that someone in the village had gone out to work as a foreman. The damn man found a young and beautiful girl. And she came back with a big belly or whoever made a lot of money by becoming a reseller. He got divorced when he came back. He didn't want his wife and children. Simply went out to marry another woman. There were many examples in the countryside, let alone big cities. This side got a lot of divorced people. Especially after getting rich. Wasn't her family Wang Yuan getting rich? She knew that the amount he can earn in a year was probably something she won't necessarily be able to earn in her lifetime. 
If he wants to divorce, she had no power to fight. Learn to drive this year, and I will buy you a car. If you want to come to check the post, come here anytime. Wang Yuan said. Then you teach me first. Zhou Er and I didn't be polite with him. In fact, she had been eyeing the car for a long time. Seeing her fourth aunt driving up and down so freely, she can't describe how carefree it felt. Okay. Wang Yuan responded. Zhou Er and I went with him to learn to drive in the open space downstairs. On the second floor, the beautiful female accountant was watching with a complicated look in her eyes. She can't understand. Why such a big boss would like such a wife from the countryside? She wasn't very pretty. She had watched for a while. Boss treated his wife very well and rarely went out to socialize. She wanted to go out with him but couldn't find the opportunity. She didn't feel that she was worse than boss's wife, Zhou Er and I. In terms of her academic qualifications, how can she compare to herself? Wasn't it just relying on being able to give birth to a pair of twins? She had calculated the revenue of the factory. At the same time, the fact had strengthened her thoughts. Being with such a man, she won't have to worry for the rest of her life. It was hundreds of times better than the guy she was with. Chapter 624 Dividend When it was the appointed day, Lin Qing, he drove over to call Zhou Xiaomei. Then she collected Zhou Er and I. Finally, she came to Mother Wing's side. The four of them came to the hot spring together. While soaking in the spring, Mother Wing talked about the topic of mistress, I really don't understand what is going on with these girls now. They graduated from these famous university and don't want a good future. They were actually willing to be with Big Ear and Big Belly Old Man and their mistress. What were they aiming for? Why she brought this up so suddenly? It was because there was someone raising a mistress outside at their area. That mistress even went into her clothing store to buy clothes. Although the person were a bit harsh, the mistress's conditions was pretty good. Still, why was she willing to be with a beer belly and destroy other people's family? Zhou Xiaomei spoke, it's simple. Isn't it because the other party has money? They want to use the other party's money. Otherwise, would the girl set their eye on that kind of man out of the blue? They weren't self-masochistic. A lazy bum. Just want to sit back and reap the benefits. Want to take shortcuts, because they're young. This kind of people won't have a good ending in the future. Zhou Xiaomei continued. Your reaction is quite big. Lin Qing, he looked at her. I haven't told you yet, fourth sister-in-law. De Lin's cousin got an unclear relationship with a woman outside. Zhou Xiaomei told. Lin Qing, he was surprised and said, De Lin's cousin doesn't look like that kind of person. Su De Lin's cousin came a few years earlier. He came over to open a shop with his wife. The children have grown up. He was a middle-aged man. Lin Qing, he had met him. He didn't look like the kind of person who mess around. He doesn't. But it was exposed. It's been stirring since the day before yesterday. My cousin-in-law personally saw him go shopping with another woman. Zhou Xiaomei sighed, they're still at it. What's the situation? Mother Wing said. It's also hard to explain. Zhou Xiaomei responded, if one really have to put the blame, it's not completely De Lin's cousin at fault. His cousin-in-law is outrageous. Don't know where she learned to play mahjong. She's not home every day. Just playing mahjong. The family got a shop and it's all left to De Lin's cousin to handle. On most days, she didn't give any good attitude. She either holler or scold at him. I feel suffocated on Delin's cousin's behalf. That's not a reason for his derailment. If he can't continue on like this, he can get a divorce. Lin Qing, he said honestly. She had heard from Zhou Xiaomei long ago that her cousin-in-law was acrimonious and mean. It was fine before. After she came to the capital and made money, her temper had become worst. Really didn't have anyone in her eye. 
It was indeed easy to feel suffocated living under the same roof with such a woman. Still, like Lin Ching he said, if they can't get along, they can get a divorce. He'll be single again after the divorce. He can do whatever he want. That was freedom. But messing around without getting divorced was wrong even when deserved sympathy. I from heard my nephew that telling me that they are having a row. Wanting to divorce. However, Delin's cousin-in-law is unwilling to divorce. It's only when the matter got big did I find out. The shop is being watched by the few nephew and nieces. Zhou Xiaomei told. This incident was also a warning to her. Fortunately she still was family-oriented even though she was a little bit coquettish at times. She was also hardworking. Her family, Delin, is a dutiful person and will definitely not copy his cousin. Zhou Xiaomei couldn't even imagine how she'll live if her Delin was the same. Lin Qing, he made no comment. It was difficult for an honest official to judge his own house affair. The children are pitiful. Mother Wing remarked. Not children anymore. They're all grown up. The oldest is 22. Zhou Xiaomei said. There were three children in total. The oldest was 22 and the youngest was 17. They were all big. Do the elders know? Mother Wing asked. They do. How could they not know such a big matter? His cousin-in-law cried and called back to file a complaint that day. At this moment, they should be on the way here. These two days, they should arrive. Zhou Xiaomei stated. Now she know to cry. She got some capability to force a man to do this point. Mother Wing sneered. The man was wrong in this matter. Wrong for messing around without getting divorced. But the woman in the family was even more wrong. Did she fulfill her responsibilities as a wife and a mother? When they were young, they didn't go out and mess around. Now life was better. Instead, it can't sustain anymore. And she want to reflect on it? Zhou Er and I didn't interrupt much. Lin Qing, he turned to her, go to the clothing factory to walk around often. Although she got to give Wang Yuan a certain amount of trust, defending one's marriage was also what a wife should do. Have to let the other person know that the legitimate wife wasn't someone easy to bully. What's wrong with Wang Yuan? Zhou Xiaomei came to a halt and asked Zhou Er and I. What matter? It's just that two new accountants have been recruited. One looks pretty. Zhou Er and I merrily told. This isn't nothing. Zhou Xiaomei gave a pointed glare, what? Kind of identity does Wang Yuan have? He's young and handsome now. On top of handsome, he's rich. Such a man is a sweet cake to those restless women. How can this be? Her second brother-in-law isn't that kind of person. What kind of household was Wang family? Can he be fascinated by flowers and grasses? Mother Wang couldn't help utter. Zhou Er and I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. She looked at her little aunt and said, Youngest aunt, you worry too much. Wang Yuan doesn't have those thoughts. He's teaching me to drive recently. He's going to buy you a car? Zhou Xiaomei asked. He said once I got the license, he will buy one for me so that I can drop by whenever I want. Zhou Er and I smiled. Mother Wang spoke, I had said that her second brother-in-law's eyes aren't so shallow. The twins are cute. Even when he doesn't think of anything else, he has to think about his two children. The few women talked while taking a soak. After the hot spring, they ate a snack. Only then they went home in content. First, Mother Wang was sent back. Then she sent Zhou Er and I to the garment factory. Finally, she brought Zhou Xiaomei home. Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin had moved out and lived by themselves since 86. Her home wasn't as spacious as Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side. Still, it was more than enough. This is this month's dividend. I almost forgot. Lin Qing, he gave her 200 yuan in large note and said. This 100 yuan bill was issued just last year. 
Zhou Xiaomei have shares in one of her tea shop. Each month, she settled it with Zhou Xiaomei. Before, she invested 3,000 yuan. Now the capital had been fully recovered and began to receive dividends. Thank you fourth sister-in-law. Zhou Xiaomei jollily said after taking the money. Watch father and mother sighed a little bit, Lin Qing, he spoke. I know. Don't worry. Zhou Xiaomei waved her hand. Lin Qing, he drove back. Zhou Xiaomei took the money home. At this time, Su De Lin was already at home and was turning the land over in the backyard. He planned to grow some vegetables that could be used as bun stuffing. Chapter 625, Irresponsible Attitude of Standing Aloof, Where's Your Dad? Zhou Xiaomei asked her eldest daughter, who was doing homework, as soon as she got home. Dad is in the backyard. Su Ye replied. Zhou Xiaomei went over. The plowing was most done. They can plant leeks in a few days. There was also a vegetable garden at Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side. Basically, they can't finish it and would bring it here. So her backyard was used to grow vegetables for bun stuffing. Seeing his wife's return, Su De Lin grinned and spoke, Did, you eat yet? I have. When will uncle and aunt arrive? Zhou Xiaomei asked. Tom, tomorrow. Su De Lin sighed softly. He couldn't understand why his cousin's family reached this step when they were all doing well. How good was their life? The business was very stable. The shop was about to be bought with the money pooled. Seeing that the shop will be in their hand, they stabilize a few years before buying a house. Then it was time to move the household registration. Life couldn't get any better. But they stirred up so many trouble. Zhou Xiaomei just asked about the time and didn't talk about other things. She planned to arrange for uncle and aunt to live here and then let her two sons live there with their maternal grandparents. Zhou Xiaomei respected Su De Lin's uncle and aunt. Not to mention the gratitude of taking care of Su De Lin in the earlier years, even after she married, the two elders took care of her too. When they called before, they called them to come here. But they didn't come because they were worried about causing trouble. Never thought they would come over because of this. Things change. Zhou Xiaomei went in to look for the ledger. Got to track the accounts. Now she and De Lin both keep track of the family's income source. Zhou Xiaomei was very satisfied with the 220 yuan income from the tea shop. With her fourth sister-in-law's care, the family can earn 200 or so yuan extra a month. Sometimes more and less. Still, no matter what, 200 or so yuan was certain. The capital she invested in it before had returned. Now she was getting was profit. Without her doing anything, she can receive dividend every month. It went without saying Zhou Xiaomei was delighted. The business of the bun shop wasn't bad now. Even though it was fine, there was a limit. The income of 8 to 900 yuan was pretty good. But now that the children were getting older, the pressure of school tuition, school supplies, living expenses, etc., wasn't small. An extra income every month will naturally reduce some of the pressure and they can save some. After she had tallied up the account, she came over to her father and mother's side. Father Zhou and old Wang were playing chess. Mother Zhou was learning Beijing opera. This was the new entertainment of these old lady recently. Many old little ladies in the park were participating, so she can't fall behind. In the past two years, whether it was Father Zhou, Old Wang, or Mother Zhou, they had aged a lot. Since two years ago, Old Wang moved here to live with Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. It was spacious here. Enough room for him to live. What's more, there were three people. It was better to cook. As for the rest, there was nothing inconvenient. Zhou Xiaomei came to talk about her uncle and aunt's coming. Naturally Mother Zhou had heard about this matter from her daughter and said, let Qing Qing and Sun Sun come here to live. Let his uncle and aunt live there. Zhou Xiaomei nodded, I had the same thought. This is finding something out of nothing and don't want to live a good life. 
It's stabbing a hornet's nest after eating to their content. Mother Zhou remarked. It can't be helped. Didn't he fail to marry a good wife? Zhou Xiaomei responded. In this matter, she was standing on De Lin's cousin's side. He was really not that kind of person. He had a sense of duty. But honestly, the woman in the family wasn't worthy of him. She was too bitter. On this matter, she didn't leave him any face. She made sure all the neighbors knew. Simply lost face logically and on the surface. Is there no one from his wife's family coming? Mother Zhou asked. Of course, they would. Zhou Xiaoming nodded. The divorce is definite? Mother Zhou said. If the word divorce was mentioned a few years ago, Mother Zhou would find it shameful. She wouldn't dare to mention it. But this era was different. A group of little old ladies in the park have nothing to do and would talk about these gossips. So, Mother Zhou had gained immunity. She was nearly a little old lady with wide horizon. Reaching to this point, the marriage must be divorced. The three sons below don't know what to do. Wait for them to come to discuss. Zhou Xiaomei spoke. I used to think De Lin's cousin was a bit more honest and pairing with a more powerful wife is good. Just like your fourth brother and fourth sister-in-law. Never thought they would end up like this. Mother Zhou shook her head. Mother, come on. With the way she is, how can she compare with my fourth sister-in-law? Don't know how many street my fourth sister-in-law left her behind. Zhou Xiaomei gave a contemptuous expression. Her fourth sister-in-law's awesomeness wasn't fake. Nor was it a lie that she got big ideas. But, how did her fourth sister-in-law take care of the family? When she was in the village in the earlier days, even when there was no money left at home, she had to take care of her own man and her children. What about Delin's cousin-in-law? Wasn't she a virtuous person? In recent years, because of making money, she learnt mahjong from somewhere and played it every day. Did she have time for family? What's more, she heard that once she was home, she would dislike this and disdain that. Then it was the quarrel. Was this how one lived life? Your fourth sister-in-law's kind is really hard to find outside. Mother Zhou smugly said. The older they get, the more they feel that such a daughter-in-law, like fourth's wife, was difficult to find. She respects them two elders and cultivates her sons into talents. Before when they were in the village, she took it all in. When her son ate meat, she ate cucumbers and tomatoes. Lin Qing, he, who got home, didn't know that her mother-in-law and sister-in-law were taking turns boasting about her. Right now, she was cutting apples and dividing them into four. Mainly to make it convenience for little me me. She took a piece and ate it very late alike. Lin Qing, he washed one for Zhou Qing Bai and ate the other three-quarter by herself. Mom, you have finished eating. Little Mimi said with half left in her mouth as she looked at her mom. Yes. If you still want to eat after you finish eating, mom will cut it for you. Lin Qing, he responded. Little Mimi nodded. When she finished eating, she didn't want any more. She grabbed a doll and combed its hair. Zhou Qing Bai's expression went soft. Lin Qing, he said, do you know about De Lin's cousin's matter? I heard from my parents when I sent dumplings over yesterday. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. Because it was far away, he didn't bring it up at home. Got any opinion? Lin Qing, he looked at him. Zhou Qing Bai didn't take it seriously. But when he heard this, he turned to his wife and then stated very desperately, it has nothing to do with me. The irresponsible attitude of standing aloof couldn't be any more obvious. Chapter 626, Torn Apart Family Lin Qing, he couldn't help but want to laugh when she saw him like this. What was the meaning of this expression of being afraid of getting eaten by her? Talk me more. Lin Qing, he said. Although it was other people's family matter, it was still necessary to use it as a negative teaching material for her own family. I heard mother brought it up. I don't know the specific. De Lin's cousin-in-law didn't care about the family, so his cousin found another outside. 
Zhou Qingbai looked at his wife and spoke. And then. Lin Qing, he nodded. Purely don't want to live their good day and got stuffed to the brim with food. Zhou Qingbai continued. No wonder he was his mother's son. The thoughts and explanations were the same. It was a rough journey to get to this point. Seeing that the wind and wave were going to rise, the two of them acted up. Do they still want the good life? Throwing eggs, making chicken fly, and dogs jump. Wasn't this being overstuffed? Our family's life is hard one. I cherish it. If anyone dares to disturb our family's life, I will be the first one to disagree. Zhou Qingbai declared. Lin Qing, he was satisfied with his attitude. She rewardingly stroked his stomach and spoke, Are you hungry? Just finish an apple. Zhou Qingbai gazed at her. And, we'll go over this later. Lin Qing, he smiled. Dad, you got to eat more. There is no flesh. Little Mimi, who was combing the doll's hair raised her face and looked at her dad and said. One of her classmates' dad was very fat and got a lot of flesh. She was a little envious. Lin Qing he, your dad is just right like this. Zhou Qing Bai's current weight was fit. Neither fat nor thin. He always exercised. The fattest time in his life was probably during her postnatal confinement. That was the pinnacle of his life. Lin Qing, he estimated that at that time, he must be 200 genes and up. But now, 155 genes. With his height, this was a very healthy weight. No meat. Little Mimi came over with her doll and said with some regret. Lin Qing, he took in her man's resolve seemed to loosen and want to gain weight in order to satisfy his daughter's wishes. Stop right there. She say the wind is rain and you become as fat as before, then don't sleep with me. Just camp on the floor by yourself. Lin Qing, he stated. Mom, dad can sleep with me. Mimi looked at her. Then you camp on the floor too. Lin Qing, he responded. Mimi didn't want to sleep on the floor. She wanted to sleep on the bed, so she sighed, then dad, don't get fat. Don't look at her with her young age. She can communicate properly and was very clever. It was precisely because of this that Zhou Qingbai, the old father, doted her dearly. It can be said that she was the root of his life. I have stewed chicken soup tonight. You can eat more. Your dad isn't allowed to get fat, but you can. Lin Qing, he spoke. Mimi nodded. Then she would eat more and try to make herself fat. She won't need to envy others. Zhou Qingbai grinned. He was contented. Life was very peaceful. However, the peace was broken when Su De Lin's uncle and aunt arrived. Because the children were this old, wasn't it a joke to get divorced now? So whether it was Su De Lin's uncle and aunt or his cousin-in-law's parents, they all persuaded them to reconcile. But after so much trouble, Su De Lin's cousin really couldn't endure any more. He maintained on split off his household registration and was unwilling to continue this marriage. The family had already moved their household account to the capital. Last year, they moved it. 2,000 more than Su Lin and Zhou Xiaomei. So divorce and the likes needed to be handled here. The whole family was the capital's resident. Su Lin's cousin's determination to divorce was extremely firm. The honest man that had been suppressed for a lifetime finally broke out without turning back. On the contrary, it was his fierce and bitter wife who was stunned. Though she was acted so fierce these days and caused ruckus every day, she just wanted her man to bow his head. She didn't want to divorce. She didn't expect that her man's heart was determined to divorce. Even when his parents rushed all the way over, they couldn't stop him. So abruptly, Su De Lin's aunt fainted on the spot from anger. She was sent directly to the hospital. What's more, she entered the emergency room. When Zhou Xiaomei came over, helplessness was written all over her face. Why are you free to come over? Your aunt is better? Lin Qing, he asked. She's fine. 
Zhou Xiaomei replied. She was sent to the emergency room on the spot. When she went in, she realized that her aunt was pretending. It made the doctors furious, and she received a scolding. But even though it was an act, it scared people. Still, it didn't work. Delin's cousin was set on divorcing. It was going to happen. No one can stop him. After splitting the household registration, all the money was left to the female party. The shop and the likes were left to her to manage. He only separated off. None of us thought he could be so decisive. Zhou Xiaomei commented. Got too suffocated. Lin Qing, he indifferently uttered. Not fighting for money and not grabbing money when moving out of the house. This made her image of Su Lin's cousin's image improve a lot. Even his own mother's sick act can't frighten him. Giving up like that, there was no turning back. To be able to force someone to this point, his wife was capable. Isn't that right? It is better to divorce since they can't keep going on. Zhou Xiaomei said. How are the children distributed? Lin Qing, he asked. They are already grown up. They don't plan to live with their mom. Instead, get a share of money. They plan to find a shop and a house on their own. Do business on their own. Zhou Xiaomei answered. This family was most torn away like this way. The parents each on their own. The grown-up children didn't follow anyone and live on their own and make their own money. If everything is good, we still have to take care of it on weekdays. Lynching has said. If their character isn't bad, watch out for them a bit. Zhou Xiaomei nodded. It's rare for the two elderly to come here. Even when it was because of this awful matter. Still, what happened had happened. Got to think it through. Maybe it's better to be separated? Lin Qing, he said. N, I told Qing Qing, take their granduncle and grandaunt around tomorrow. Zhou Xiaomei stated. Su De Lin's cousin's matter didn't have a big impact on the old Zhou's side. For example, the married young couples. They all reflected. If not, they will end up in a divorced situation. The ending was the family getting divided up like this. Who did this benefit? No one. Therefore, it was the best to live there dutifully and diligently. Zhou Er and I went to take the driver's license test after learning to drive for a week with Wang Yuan. When she was going to take the driver's license test, Wang Yuan fired the beautiful accountant. Third came back and brought it up. Lin Qing, he drank the tea as she asked, why did did he fire her? Chapter 627, Jiang Hing Zhou Gui Lai wasn't clear why the accountant was fired. He just heard some rumors from the people in the factory. Saying she was restless when the proprietress went out to learn to drive. First, she dressed up very beautiful. Then came the big waves, pouty lips, and high-heeled shoes. Coming like this to work, she clearly want to be a vixen. In addition, she usually acted haughtily, despite her low skill. She looked down on this person and that person. She was pretty, but everyone in the garment factory didn't like her very much. They have a very SOSO impression of her. Far inferior to the proprietress, Zhou Er and I. She was kind and friendly. What's more, she was gentle and generous. She never flaunted around. The important thing was that the lady boss showed friendly attitude when see them. So this time, when the restless beautiful accountant was fired, many applaud in the background. We're eating lamb hot pot today. Invite your second brother-in-law over for dinner. Lin Qing, he smilingly instructed. She knew that the accountant must have started to seduce him. That was why Wang Yuan fire her. Still, Lin Qing, he was satisfied with this approach. In the evening, Wang Yuan came with the twins. The fragrant mutton hot pot was particularly flavorful. The sauce made by Lin Qing, he was very delicious when dipped in it. The accountant wasn't brought. Lin Qing, he said to Wang Yuan, your uncle and I want to take Mimi out to travel in a few days. When the time comes, help me keep an eye. Wang Yuan's grandfather was in Hainan. 
However, Lin Qing, he had no plans to talk about going to Hainan at the moment. They'll see later. Wang Yuan agreed and said, Auntie, your guy's live is a little too unrestrained. You always have to travel once or twice a year. The year before last, Mimi was still young, so they didn't go out. But since last year, Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qingbai took Mimi out twice. This year Shai will be taken out again. There was no doubt. When Er and I come back for the driving lesson, can't you also take them out and explore around? Lin Qing, he replied with a grin. Wang Yuan had that plan. Thinking, when Er and I comes back in time, they will follow along? Apparently Lin Qing he and Zhou Qing Bai didn't want to wait. After a few days, the two, who were ready, set off with their little girl. As soon as the couple left, Third started preparing to come to the high city. He didn't need Ma Ching Min, are you sure you don't need me to go? Ma Ching Min said helplessly. No need. You watching here is enough. Zhou Gui Lai waved his hand. He brought a batch of goods and a helper to high city. He only operated one tea shop first. There was a recruitment. One of them was introduced by Grandpa Jiang. He was a nephew of old Jiang family. He graduated from high school. He was 23 years old and was recently laid off. Grandpa Jiang's grandnephew, Jiang Heng? Zhou Gui Lai asked. Jiang Heng was 1.8 meters tall. A little shorter than Zhou Gui Lai. Still, it wasn't too short. He appeared gentle. He nodded and said, it's me. Although you are introduced by Grandpa Jiang, I need to see what you are capable of. If you got the capability, I will promote own family. If you aren't capable, then I will not keep you. I have told you up front. Zhou Gui Lai stated. I know. Despite seeing his young age, Jiang Heng took in his strictness and didn't underestimate him. What's more, he knew the salary here. He was very satisfied, so he wanted to stay. He wasn't too young. However, he didn't have a stable income. He had none of the four major household items needed to marry a wife. The conditions in his family were generally poor. His eldest brother got married last year and had already spent most of the family's money on four major household items. He was laid off again this year. This job came at the right time. Zhou Gui Lai didn't continue on this anymore. He told him some knowledge about tea, you have to write down all of this knowledge. When a customer come to ask, you have to be able to say what kind of tea, what taste, and what effect. Saying wasn't enough. He even guided him to sit down and make tea. He had to familiarize it to get into this industry. Zhou Gui Lai observed his seriousness in learning and was quite satisfied. He spoke, which cousin of Xiao Gong are you? Second paternal cousin. Jiang Heng answered. Then you should learn well. The rules in the shop are how things to be handled. Don't be lazy around. Honestly work and you won't do badly in the future. As for the rest, I won't talk. But this store manager position. If you have ability, I can promise you the position of a store manager. Zhou Gui Lai stated. Jiang Gong looked at him. This is only the first tea shop. If you have the ability to become a store manager, your salary will be higher than that of ordinary employees. Ordinary employees are 130. Your salary is 180. But you have to be worthy of your salary. Zhou Gui Lai continued. I will manage it well. Sitting upright, Jiang Heng vowed. Before, his salary was only 120. He didn't expect that the salary here was so high. Today, I'll recruit you first. Get familiar with it first. Tomorrow, you will recruit other employees with me. I need other employees trained. I don't have a lot of time, so you have to take over as soon as possible. Zhou Gui Lai said. He gave Jiang Gong a few lists. All of which were the flavors and effects of various teas, as well as the selling price. He told him to go to memorize it before dismissing him. 
It went without saying, he gave him some tea and let him take it home to make his own tea. The tea seller must also know how to make tea. Otherwise, he won't know how to make when the guests want to sample a cup of tea. Won't that be a joke then? Although people who buy tea generally know how to drink tea, this art of making was necessary. When Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qingbai went south with their little daughter, Zhou Gui Lai began the operation in High City. Father Zhou, Mother Zhou, and Old Wang only knew later. When knowing that third had opened shop in High City, Mother Zhou spoke, isn't there a lot of shops here? Why did he go to High City to open one? She couldn't keep track how many shops Fourth's family owned, still, there were many. With so many here, do they have to go to High City to open one? The capital is the capital. High City is High City. It's not the same, said Father Zhou, uttered. This way there are another path. High City is also developed and prosperous. I saw it when I went to travel. Opening a shop over there won't do badly. Old Wang commented. He and Father Zhou had went on a trip with third the year before last. High City was quite developed. Father Zhou nodded. But it's so far away. Won't be easy to manage. Mother Zhou remarked. Now that the transportation is so convenient, it takes only one day to go back and forth. What's more, they can train manager-level management. As long as the accounts are done well, they don't need to do everything by themselves. Old Wang explained. So it's like that. Mother Zhou nodded. She didn't understand this. She remembered, second, and uttered, I don't know what Er Wa is up to recently. He haven't come back after the Lantern Festival. Chapter 628, Second's Girlfriend, What Was Second Up To Now? He was already working as a secretary in the relevant department under the arrangement of his prospective father-in-law. He had just taken over this position this year. He still didn't understand many things and needed guidance from his prospective father-in-law. Zhou Xian's original goal was to be a teacher. But life was like this. Occasional changes will make one's original life go out of track. Zhou Xian's path was completely different from the original plan. Originally Zhou Xian was an eloquent speaker and got smart brain. Lin Qing, he used to worry about whether he would go astray. Now he entered this place, his dancing attractively in long-sleeved dress ability in his bones was revealed. There was no need to purposely flatter and please people. Neither overbearingly nor self-effacingly working. Still, everyone had a good impression of him. Coupled with his prospective father-in-laws, the journey was smooth. Still, there was a lot to get familiar with and a lot to learn. On this day, it was a day off. He wanted to go home. Although he was quite used to it here, he was definitely homesick after such a long a long time. His girlfriend's name was he Mian Mian. Though her name was Mian Mian, she wasn't a meek person. She was someone with a strong personality. Of course she wasn't the type to bully the weak and look down on people. However, her temperament was a bit arrogant. But when she was around Zhou Xian, she was really gentle and soft. This heiress had met her counterforce. She was originally someone could take on oil tanks by herself. But when she was by Zhou Xian's side, she didn't even have the strength to tear open the ice cream packaging bag. Of course this was an exaggeration. Still, you get the meaning. Between the two, he Mian Mian was the pursuer. This old saying was well said. Men chasing women was crossing the mountain, women chasing men was recovering barriers yarn. He Mian Mian was pretty and got a good family background. There was no complaint about her treatment toward second. When she went home with second, she was respectful to the elders, Zhou Qing Bai and Lin Qing He. In fact, the accommodation conditions in the apartment building were quite SOSO. Still, she didn't disdain when Zhou Xian brought her over. The main reason was because her eyes weren't the kind to randomly look around and wander. On top of that, Zhou Xian liked her. If he didn't, he wouldn't have brought her. So the family had no objection. Are you going back today? 
He Mian Mian came over to look for him early in the morning. Although Zhou Xian came here to recognize the family, he hadn't gotten engaged yet. He planned to wait until his eldest brother gets married this year. Then he will come to get engaged. Afterward, get married next year or the year after. So he currently lived outside by himself. There was an allocated benefit accommodation vacant. He lived here. It was quite spacious. It's been a long time since I went back. It's time to go back and have a look. Zhou Xian replied. Then you don't want to go to the movies with me. You are very busy every day. And I didn't bother you. Now you a rare holiday. He Mian Mian looked at him. I'll go back. I'll be back in the afternoon and we'll go see it in the evening, Zhou Xian said. He Mian Mian also wanted to go shopping or something. But it obvious that he wanted to go back. So she stated, then I will go back with you. Then go back together. He Mian Mian drove her family's car out. Zhou Xian spoke, eldest brother, don't need it. I told eldest brother. He said he'll lend it to me for a day. He Mian Mian grinned. Zhou Xian didn't say anything. However, he drove the car. The two of them returned. It was only after coming back did he find out his parents had taken his youngest sister to travel. Then we just missed uncle and aunt. He Mian Mian said. Where's third? Zhou Xian asked. Third gone to High City. The tea business there has to be managed. He's going to open the shop and train employees. Ma Ching Min answered. Why didn't you go together? Zhou Xian said. Third said he doesn't need me to go. He can handle it by himself and told me watch this side. Ma Ching Min explained. It's good to let him practice. Zhou Xian nodded. Dad and mom had gone to travel. His younger brother had gone to High City. Eldest hadn't returned home yet. In the end, Zhou Xian went over to his grandparents and his god-grandfather's side. Mother Zhou hadn't met He Mian Mian yet. She didn't come here last year. So she still didn't know about his girlfriend. So when she saw her grandson bring a girlfriend back, one can't describe how delighted she was. She took He Mian Mian's hand and uttered, I was wondering where Er Hua went these days. It turned out to be with you. I'm relieved. Er, Er Hua. Stunned, He Mian Mian looked at her boyfriend. Ahem, nickname. Zhou Xian coughed dryly and told. He Mian Mian was pulled inside by Mother Zhou. Mother Zhou praised her, What's your name? This hand is really white and tender. Grandmother, my name is Mian Mian. He Mian Mian smiled. You came from the apartment, right? Come to think of it, we were discourteous. Erwa's parents took their little girl around to travel. They have to travel every year. So much business at home won't watch. Once you get married in the future, you have to help, Mother Zhou prattled on. He Mian Mian had previously heard that Zhou Xian's younger brother was going to open up business in High City. This time she heard the elderly brought it up and wondered, is there a lot of business? Didn't you tell Mian Mian? Mother Zhou looked at her grandson in surprise. Our family can't compare to hers, Zhou Xian said. He really hadn't mentioned to He Mian Mian about the situation at home and He Mian Mian didn't ask too much. He didn't think it necessary to excessively talk about it because the situation at home wasn't complicated. As for the family's business, there were indeed a lot of them. Still, Zhou Xian didn't think there was anything to say. So He Mian Mian had always thought that her boyfriend's family conditions were well off, but not wealthy. He Mian Mian gave her boyfriend a slight bitter gaze. It's incomparable to your eldest brother's. Zhou Xian honestly remarked. Her eldest brother opened a factory. A machinery factory. Which was a veritable heavy industry. His families were all regarded as light industries. Incomparable. Mian Mian's family is that rich? 
Mother Zhou looked at Himian Mian in surprise. Richer than ours. Zhou Xian nodded. Himian Mian responded, Don't listen to his nonsense, grandmother. My house isn't oozing oil the way he said it. Mother Zhou laughed, Have lunch at grandmother's place. Grandmother will kill a chicken to stew for you as a nourishment. He Mian Mian glanced at Zhou Xian. Seeing that he had no objection, she nodded and replied, Then I'll trouble grandmother. No trouble at all. Grandmother is overjoyed that you're willing to come over for a meal with Erwa. Mother Zhou grinned. Eldest grandson dated a graduate nurse. Erwa dated a heiress. Mother Zhou's heart was in bliss. You two sit down first. I will go out and shop for groceries. Mother Zhou stood up and said. As she spoke, she carried the vegetable basket. She went to the backyard, grabbed a chicken to get someone else to do it, and went out. She had to buy fresh fish to stew and eat. What else didn't you tell me? He Mian Mian stared at Zhou Xian and accused. There are only those businesses at home. Nothing else. Zhou Xian answered. Chapter 629 So, a second generation rich He Mian Mian didn't dare to take his words this time, and said, more specifically, I'm the first to not even know what kind of business one's boyfriend's family does, and how many. Last time her mom asked her, what did Zhou Xian's family do? She couldn't answer at the time, so she said opened a shop and became a self-employed trader. She didn't know about other shops, just the dumpling shop. She didn't dare to tell her mom in detail, because she was afraid that her mom would be unwilling and stop them. She put her effort into praising him for being talented and studious. For looking handsome, tall, and humorous in conversation. In short, praise her match as perfect in every aspect. Her mom was easier to fool. Like this, her attention was really diverted. After all, Zhou Xian had no flaw. When she brought him back to see her parents, they liked him. And they knew that his education was so high. Her dad wanted to train him. This year, he only temporarily suspended his study and went to work in the department to get used to it. But he Mian Mian didn't know that the conditions in his family were so good. Seeing that she really wanted to know, Zhou Xian used his fingers and counted. There were clothing shops, dumpling shop, beverage shop, cigarette shop, and tea shops. Also during the new year, the shop I got the fish gelatin, abalone, and sea cucumber sell, dried seafood. Zhou Xian gave a general overview. He Mian Mian was stunned, all right. She thought her boyfriend was a poor boy. Even if he wasn't poor, he would be well off at most. Who knew there was so much business in his family? They're not very profitable. Can't compare with your family. Zhou Xian stated. You really know how to hide. He Mian Mian hit him lightly. He didn't tell her anything. When her mom asked, she didn't know how to answer. Nothing to say. Those aren't mine. It's my parents. Zhou Xian said. Even when it's uncle and aunts, it's your assets. You have to tell me the truth. He Mian Mian maintained. Zhou Xian nodded, I will pay attention later. However, uncle and aunt is so rich. Why are they still living in the apartment building? He Mian Mian asked. This year, they probably going to move to the courtyard dwelling this year. The furniture there is almost complete. Zhou Xian responded. Huh? A courtyard dwelling too? He Mian Mian's eye popped out. Her family also lived in a courtyard dwelling. It was because it was a courtyard dwelling, she understood the value of it. Speaking of this courtyard dwelling, Lin Qing, he felt very emotional. Since buying the first courtyard dwelling, she had been planning to buy a second one. Until this year, she still hadn't heard any news. It was really hard to find a courtyard dwelling. The price of courtyard dwelling couldn't compare to back then. It cost 130,000 yuan to buy this double-entry courtyard dwelling. But now such a courtyard dwelling can be said to be priceless. The price had skyrocketed. And there were very few available. 
perhaps in other places, but Lin Qing, He, and Zhou Qingbai failed to encounter them. The courtyard dwelling had been bought for so many years. They would get people to clean it up. However, they haven't lived in it. They plan to move in this year. Many of part had been rebuilt over there. The flower gardens and the likes were sorted. There was a plan to hire a nanny. The furniture was all brand new. Don't look at me with such an expression. My brothers and I only learned this this year. My parents actually bought a courtyard dwelling. When seeing his girlfriend's reaction, Zhou Xian said. He Mian Mian was really convinced. And she was called Young Mississippi. This was an actual young master. He was careless about these things at home? For an ordinary courtyard dwelling at the moment, it cost 200,000 yuan. For a better one, it was definitely 300,000 yuan and up. If one can afford a courtyard dwelling, that household must be wealthy. And she had thought she was dating a second generation poor. Are there any other relatives in the family? You have to tell me about these two. He Mian Mian continued. He was helpless. Still, this was his marriage partner. She should know about it, so he answered. There were a few uncles and aunts over at their old hometown. Cousins too. But the main family was at the capital city's side. After all, they rarely go back to their hometown. My parents bought this place a long time ago. Now my grandparents and god-grandfather live here together. The side nearby is youngest uncle and youngest aunt's house. I will take you over to see later. Also, my second elder cousin sister and second elder cousin brother-in-law. The one that gave birth to twins. My youngest aunt's family opened a steamed bun shop. She also got a share in our tea shop. Not a lot. My mom and her have a tight relationship, so she was pulled in. Second cousin brother-in-law's family is more powerful. His family is all in politics. Your parents might have heard of them. Second cousin brother-in-law gone out alone and opened a garment factory by himself. The factory has nearly a thousand workers. There's nothing to say about my eldest brother. I don't know if he will be promoted this year. But judging by his tone, he will get promoted. If he is promoted this year, he will be a major. He probably will marry to his childhood sweetheart this year. We all know Sister Mei Jia. She work as the head nurse over there. That was it. As for the rest, nothing. Zhou Xian knew that his parents had bought a lot of real estate in High City. He felt that it wouldn't be less the capital side. However, he didn't mention these things. It wasn't too late to talk about it later. But after what he said, this family was obviously very strong. Before today, he Mian Mian had a completely different impression of his family. You, second young master, are too low-key. He Mian Mian didn't know whether to laugh or cry. She naturally knew that her boyfriend got quite an aura. He had that kind of noble son's taste. Who knew, he was indeed a noble son. There is nothing low-key or not. Life just goes on as usual. Zhou Xian responded. He really didn't feel anything about it. Maybe it was because he was used to it. Of course, the most important thing was that he had to fight on his own. The family gave him a good childhood and gave him favorable conditions when he grew up. He should do the rest by himself. This was very obvious. So he never mentioned these things to He Mian Mian. However, He Mian Mian could let her heart settle back into place. With such a family and such capability, her mom will have no reason to oppose her and him being together. After a while, Father Zhou and Old Wang came back. They went to the park to play chess. Right now was about time to return. When they got back, they saw Zhou Xian and He Mian Mian. Grandfather, God Grandfather. Zhou Xian greeted and introduced them to He Mian Mian. He Mian Mian called out. Hello grandfather. Hello god grandfather. I'm he Mian Mian. With one look, Father Zhou and Old Wang knew this was their grandson's match. 
they were overjoyed and smilingly acknowledged her. Then they sat down to make tea for her. Zhou Xian took over and brewed the tea. Shortly after the two old men reached home, Mother Zhou returned with the fish and the slaughtered chicken. Chapter 630, Hainan's trip, He Mian Mian ate at this side. She didn't know how to cook. The auntie at home did it. Also, Zhou Xian can cook. Therefore, He Mian Mian witnessed another skill of her boyfriend. Her big watery eyes were full of admiration. The whole chicken didn't need to be stewed. Half was stewed. Half was stir-fried. The chicken was fried with potatoes. There were a batch of early maturing cabbage and leeks in the backyard. Egg was scrambled with leek. Fat residue was fried with cabbage. There was also a soy sauce stewed fish. For noon, it was white flour buns, which were also steamed in the pot. When they were all brought out, every dish smelled wonderful. This culinary skill had stunned He Mian Mian. Both eyes had red hearts, especially after eating this. The taste wasn't worse than those made by her family's nanny and auntie. Air was amazing, Mother Zhou beamed. NN. He Mian Mian vigorously nodded. It was amazing. She didn't know that he could cook before. The few brothers can cook and it's delicious. Father Zhou stated. Erwa's culinary is the best. Old Wang nodded. Zhou Xian smiled, no matter how good it is, it can't beat my mom's. The reason why the brothers knew how to cook was because their mom taught them. Even when the brothers were spoiled in terms of mentally and materialistically since young. When they want football, a football was bought. When they want children books and the likes, they got it. Still, their mom would never spoil them when it comes to what they should do. Because of this, all three brothers can cook. And the cooking skills were pretty good. Mian Mian, eat more. Once you get married in the future, let him cook what you want to eat. Come to think of it. His mother who has the foresight and reigned them well for you daughters-in-law in advance. Mother Zhou laughed. De Wa's match can't cook too well. Air was looked like a young miss. Those hands were delicate. Needless to say, she definitely can't cook. One can tell when seeing her eat so happily. Speaking of this, Mother Zhou got to admit Fourth's wife was really prescient. When the grandchildren were young, she trained them to chop vegetables and scrubbing pots. At that time, she felt distressed for her grandsons. Even talked about it. What's more, it was illogical for boys to do these things. However, Fort's wife said it was fine to do it. Not only washing the dishes, washing the pot and cutting vegetables, but also learning how to cook rice and vegetables. At that time, she asked why they were learning this? Fort's wife said that after learning this, it will be much easier to get a wife. Look. Wasn't this fulfilled right now? Both Dewa's girlfriend and Erwa's girlfriend weren't good at cooking. However, the brothers' can was enough. If they didn't, wouldn't they have to miss out? Regardless of whether it was Dewa's girlfriend or Erwa's girlfriend, they were wonderful in all aspect other than cooking. He Mian Mian was very full and satisfied. Mother Zhou grinned and said, Would you like to drink another bowl of chicken soup? Thank you, grandmother but I can't drink it anymore. Grandmother, you drink more. He Mian Mian jollily replied. Mother Zhou smiled and spoke, I don't bother to cook by myself now. Two years ago, his mother said she'll hire a nanny for us. Just for three meals a day, I wasn't willing to agree. This year, I didn't want to move. So I planned to let his mother arrange one for us. If it weren't for you being uncomfortable with outsiders, it should have been arranged long ago. Zhou Xian said. Mother Zhou merrily stated, let's arrange one this year. Oh, truly a sin. She had to be served by someone even for a meal. She had become an old lady of the landlord's house. After eating, Zhou Xian cleaned the pots and bowls before taking He Mian Mian to visit other people's homes. Back to Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai. Right now, they were still in the train going south. 
there were a lot of stocks in the space. Basically, they don't buy anything at the train station. Still, Zhou Qing Bai ate the train's chicken drumstick lunch set. Lin Qing, he, and little Mimi ate something prepared by herself. Of course, she still have to avoid the little girl when she take it out of the space. She dare not underestimate her due to her young age and think she won't understand. Dad, eat orange. Little Mimi likes to travel very much. Not acting up at all. She took an orange from the bag and asked her dad to peel it. Zhou Qing Bai peeled it for her. Little Mimi didn't hog it to herself. She fed her dad. Then her mom. Only then she ate the rest with satisfaction. She stuck to the window and looked at the scenery out the window. Fast. Fast. Hoo hoo, and it's gone. Mimi commented. Mimi, take a nap after eating. Lin Qing, he said. Mimi is not sleepy. Mimi just woke up and couldn't fall asleep. Mimi refused. Though she said she wasn't sleepy, she fell asleep in her dad's arms shortly later. She hadn't slept for few hours. Not like what she said just now. Put her on the soft sleeper. Holding her like that, you will feel stiff on top of uncomfortable. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qing Bai put the little girl on the soft bed and spoke, tired? Not tired. Lin Qing, he was really not tired. She grabbed a book and started reading. As for Zhou Qing Bai, he took the newspaper out and read the newspaper. From time to time, he checked up on his daughter. The couple spent a few days on the train before they arrived in Guangdong province. After they arrived, they didn't rush to catch a boat to Hainan. They stayed there for two days. Basically, taking it easy. After all, they'd been on the train for so many days. The adults were fine. It was just worried that Mimi can't stand it. They took the little girl around to play around and ate a lot of delicious food. It made the little girl feel over the moon. Originally, it was two days of taking it slow, but Zhou Qing Bai, who doted his daughter, extended the stay to four days. Lin Qing, he didn't stop him either. Four days it was then. After the stay, they caught a ride to the port. From Guangdong province to Hainan at this time, it was necessary to take a boat. The boat wasn't small. Just when they arrived, they encountered a boat that was going to depart. So they hopped on the boat. Will you get seasick? Lin Qing, he looked at Zhou Qing Bai and their daughter. If they do, it will be difficult. But fortunately, neither father nor daughter would. They adapted very well. Especially little girl, Mimi. She was hyped up. Dad, it's all water. This is the sea. Then what are we riding? Is it a car? This is called a ship, a sea ship. So much water. How can you finish drinking it? This is sea water. It's bitter and salty, so you can't drink it. While the father and daughter had their Q&A, Lin Qing, he took out the camera. It was a cheap and compact one. She took a photo of them. She had taken a lot of photos along the way, especially in the previous few days. The little girl was riding on her father's shoulder with a happy face. The smell of the sea was everywhere. Have to say that this was a very comfortable experience. Chapter 631, Exorbitant House Price, the current temperature in Hainan was around 23 degrees. A very comfortable temperature. Like one with soak and spring breeze. Although Hainan at this time was still inferior to later generations, it was at its important time of development this year. It was also very lively. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai led Mimi off the boat and took in the lively scene of the port. This year, the number of people wasn't too much. Still, it can be regarded as lively. Lin Qing, he knew that there was be a lot of people watching on the sidelines this year. Starting next year, that was when actual number of hundreds of thousands of people coming here. The family of three found a place to stay first and took a shower to wash off the smell of the sea on their bodies before going out to eat. The sea surrounded all side. 
naturally, seafood was abundant. Enormous conch with meat that are fresh and delicious. And the price was cheap. Lin Ching, he, and Zhou Ching bite both like it. Little Mimi ate a bowl of shrimp congee. The rest, she can't eat. The boat ride was probably a bit tiring as the little girl fell asleep shortly after having her fill and laid in her dad's arm. Zhou Qing Bai excessively doted her. He changed a position that was comfortable for his daughter and let her continue to sleep. Lin Qing, he was mostly done eating and said, I'll hold her. You continue to eat. Only then did Zhou Qing Bai pass his daughter to his wife. Then he cleared up the seafood on the table. Seventy percent of the full table of food entered Zhou Qing Bai's stomach. Lin Qing, he had long known that he liked to eat seafood. Since the seafood here was really fresh, he opened up his stomach. With the way of you eat, when we go back, your weight will rise to 200 jin again. Lin Qing, he laughed on the way back to the hotel. Zhou Qing Bai responded, I will go out for a run tomorrow morning. The child was tired. The adults were also exhausted. After taking a shower and eating, the whole body felt comfortable. At this time, they went back and rest first. The rest can be left until after they wake up. Anyway, there was plenty of time. No rush. The family reached around 5 o'clock in the evening. At half, little Mimi got up and ate a little shrimp dumplings before returning to sleep. They slept until the next morning. Zhou Qing Bai went for a run. When he returned, Lin Qing He and Mimi were getting up, combing their hair, and getting dressed. I looked around and asked a few people whether the house prices are still low, Zhou Qing Bai told. How much? Lin Qing He asked. More than 1300. The good location is 14 to 1500. Zhou Qing Bai answered. Have to say that this price was really expensive. How much was the current salary level? The wage level in the capital was the highest in the country, but it was only 100 or so yuan a month. The price of one square meter was 1,000 or so yuan. How can those who get salary save money to buy a square meter? Let's check it out later. Lin Qing, he said. So far, she hadn't planned to make a move. It was just that she was idle at home. Better to go outside and see if it was different from what she remembered. Although they have a lot of money now and can make a lot of money every month, money can't be spent like this. After all, here was so far away from the capital. If they were going to do it, it need to be a decisive cut. The kind that one didn't need them to come back after this trip. If not, don't make the transaction. This way, it can save the heart from worrying. And instead of throwing the money here at this time, it was better to go to the capital city to take a loan and buy the land that her family Qing Bai liked. But having a look around didn't hinder anything. Zhou Qing Bai sweated from the running, so he took another bath. The family went out to eat seafood kanji. After eating, they started to look at the commercial houses in Hainan. The development here was rapid. These commercial houses were very beautiful. For the aesthetics of people at the moment, this was indeed flawless. You can ask me if you two have any needs. I can answer your questions. A young man served them and said very politely. Hainan has developed rapidly this year. When were these properties built? When we came before, they weren't here. Lin Qing, he opened her mouth. Then you may have came here much earlier. These are all brand new houses built in the past two years. They are especially suitable for living. Especially our climate, which is evergreen all year round. Couldn't be any more suitable for living. This young man smilingly replied. We don't know whether to buy it yet. You are so enthusiastic. Not worried about wasting your words. Lin Qing, he merrily said. You don't need to buy it. I feel elder brother and elder sister-in-law is wealthy. It's fine to treat it as making friends. The young man laughed. What's your name? Zhou Qing Bai asked. My name is Lin Yuan. The young man nodded. 
That's a coincidence. I am also surnamed Lin. You can call me Elder Sister Lin. Lin Qing, he said, and introduced him to Zhou Qingbai and their daughter. The two sides were considered acquaintances. Lin Yuan spoke, is elder brother Zhou and elder sister Lin here for a trip? It can be as a trip. We were surprised at the development of Hainan this year. Lin Qing, he responded. Lin Yuan had nothing to do with right now, so naturally he can talk more. He really can see that these two weren't moneyless kind. Their aura indicated that. As he said, the wealthy kind. He told them about the development of Hainan this year. Toward the end, he spoke, Elder brother, elder sister-in-law, want to buy? I think if you buy a house here, you will definitely not regret it. After all, the development is so good now. If I have money, I invest into a set. This set costs 100,000. It's really not cheap. Lin Qing, he replied. Although her family's monthly income was more than 100,000 yuan, she didn't think it was cheap. It is a bit dear. But it will definitely be more expensive in the future. Lin Yuan stated. You are a local. You know Hainan best. We plan to stay here for a few days. Would you like to consider being our tour guide? Lin Qing, he asked. Elder sister-in-law, I still have to go to work. Lin Yuan immediately uttered. How much the salary? Zhou Qingbai looked at him and asked. The salary is 120. Lin Yuan didn't know why this was suddenly asked. Still, he didn't hide it. Naturally, the salary wasn't low. But for him, a married man with a wife and children to raise, it wasn't much. At least a house can't be afforded. This is 100 yuan. You can ask for a week off and take us around. Lin Qing, he took out 100 yuan and gave it to him. Lin Yuan didn't expect this to happen. He looked at them. Finally, he gritted his teeth and pushed the money back, saying, Elder brother, elder sister-in-law, came here to travel. It's a must for me to act as the tour guide. I don't need the money. It just happens, I can be scheduled a vacation. Count my price for next month, seven days isn't a big deal. Chapter 632, Profited, there was really nothing to see in Hainan right now. Let alone now, or even in the next three years, the value of tourism wasn't very great. It went without saying tourists like Lin Qing, He, and Zhou Qingbai were very rare. There were a lot of people at the port when they just disembarked. While in other places, there weren't many. So Lin Yuan brought them to the central area to watch the scenery of Hainan. Commercial housing had already been established. This year, Hainan has just separated from Guangdong province into a special economic zone. Its development hadn't entered a high-speed stage yet. The overall performance appeared relatively poor. But the house price was 1,000 or so per square meter. There weren't many people who can afford it. A car was hired and they visited a lot of places. In the end, it was in the city center, when Lin Qing, he couldn't help but want to buy a villa. Still, she restrained herself. After going out for a few days, Lin Yuan didn't have to spend a penny of expenses. It can be regarded as an accompanying tour member. When the exploring was over, Lin Qing, he gave him 100 yuan and stated, what's yours should be yours. You don't need to push. We may go back tomorrow. I will leave you a phone number. If there is any large movement here, just call me. This is no problem. Lin Yuan said quickly. After strolling around with them these few days, he had gained a lot of knowledge. Though he was born and raised here, he had only heard of many places before. He had benefited from following. Moreover, he didn't need to pay for the meal and the car. Now he received 100 yuan as a tip. He took a leave of absence for the past seven days. So he profited. Lin Qing, he took out a pen and paper from her bag and wrote a phone number. When he looked at the number, Lin Yuan was surprised, this number is from the capital? Brother, sister-in-law, are you from the capital? 
N. Lin Ching, he nodded. No other words needed to be said. The couple's status in Lin Yuan's mind had raised again. No wonder they were so generous. Turned out to be from the capital city. No problem, leave it to me. If there are any new policies here, I'll call brother and sister-in-law. Lin Yuan promised. He felt if the opportunity is right, these two will definitely be his big customers. He'll get commissions accordingly. The more he sell, the more commissions he will get. So he must follow closely. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai had taken their little girl around to see the Hainan province now. Generally speaking, there was nothing outstanding. Only the commercial houses here were indeed unique. Because right now in the capital, it hadn't started to build this kind of civilian commercial housing. In fact, they existed a long time ago, but they were all allocated to the cadres. Not sold to the outside world. The benefit houses weren't available for sale either. Except for this commercial house, there was nothing else to bring up. It really hadn't developed to that time. Although there was nothing to gain, Lin Qing, He, and Zhou Qingbai took note of what they saw. This side indeed have an opportunity to make money, but it wasn't the time yet. Take it easy. First, go back and take down that piece of land. The couple didn't stay any longer. In the morning of the next day, they went home with the well-fed little Mi Mi. Of course, Lin Qing He's space had stocked a lot of local products here such as coconut sugar, coconut powder, coconut milk cake, and the likes. They went back to Guangdong province by boat. There was no rush to catch the train back. They visited many areas in Guangdong province. Guangdong province deserved to be known as the number one food province. Even in this era, a variety of delicacies were constantly available, especially those stewed soups. Lin Qing, he felt that she can learn a bit. Originally they only wanted to stay for a few days, but their feet were stopped by food. Such as morning tea, afternoon tea, and night tea. It was really delicious. This stay was extended to half a month. Because they stayed for a long time, little Mimi can speak Yangqing's Cantonese. She learned it from others. The children's ability to learn languages was really innate. Her dad hadn't caught on after so long. While with her, she can learn it after hearing it. Lin Qing, he estimated that if she lived here for a year and a half, she'll be fluent in Cantonese when she go back and make people suspect where she was from. The three of them had a good time and embarked on the train home. Zhou Gui Lai also happened to prepare to return to the capital today. These days, he had trained a total of nine employees and opened three shops one after another. Each shop was supervised by three people. Among them, Jiang Hung was the manager of these three tea shops. Below the store manager was the store supervisor. Below the store supervisor was the team leader. Then the salesperson. Currently, there was no shop assistant. The three shops only got one store manager and three team leader. Zhou Gui Lai handed the management over to Jiang Hung. He had requested him to open all the other ten or so tea shops within this year. And this required manpower. Which he had to oversee. There were requirements for the amount of profit per store each month. Zhou Gui Lai planned a trip over every month. What was needed to be said was said. As for the rest, Zhou Gui won't get involved. He gave a high salary and a high position to Jiang Gang, so he can split off the burden. That way, he didn't have to worry about everything. So, he headed to old Zhang's home to say goodbye and brought Mrs. Shui Meili a packaged high city specialties. Then he returned to the capital. It was only after coming back did he find out his parents and little sister hadn't come back yet. When he came to his grandparent for a meal, he heard his grandmother talk about it. Your youngest aunt had came here the day before yesterday and said that your parents are coming back from Guangdong province. It is estimated that it will take a few days. Won't be so fast. Mother Zhou told. Definitely doesn't want to come back after staying there. There is really a lot of food there. Zhou Gui Lai remarked. 
he had taken his grandfather and his god-grandfather to Guangdong province. He understood how pleasant it was. Only con was that it rained twice in three days. How's the business in High City? Mother Zhou was concerned about this. No problem. I hired Xiao Gong's cousin. He's a practical man. Won't do badly at all. I just need to check the performance every month. No need to manage the rest. Zhou Gui Lai replied. That's good. I was worried about losing money. Mother Zhou said. Zhou Gui Lai didn't dare to tell her that there was really no business for the new stores that had just opened. However, there was no worry since the tea got long shelf life. In short, when he set a salary for Jiang Gang, he also threw him a bait. That is, he set a profit amount. As long as he reached it, there will be additional rewards and subsidies of 20 yuan, 40 yuan, or 80 yuan. If he had the ability to achieve the profit, he would add these on top of his basic salary of 180 as the store manager. This salary would be at top of the country. Chapter 633 Third young master Zhou Gui Lai had spent more than 20 days in High City this time. Once he returned, there was a lot of matters to do. First of all, he checked all the shops under his family's name and then started to check the accounts. There were a few income and some expenses. He had to call Ma Ching Min to ask about it. Ma Ching Min gave a reasonable explanation. Plus the amount wasn't that much. Zhou Gui Lai knew that there would be some small errors, so he didn't say anything. As for the income of the shop, they were all directly deposited into the account by Zhou Er and I, who came back from learning to drive. With one look, Zhou Gui Lai was stunned from it. The income of his family was truly not low. Quite impressive. Once High City's side pick up, business will inevitably reach another level. Zhou Gui Lai gave instruction to Ma Ching Min, get people to start the renovation for the two shops in Hadian's side. Also, the three shops in Xiching and Dongqing's side needed to be renovated into tea shops. Then we have to recruit more employees. Ma Ching Min said. Recruit then. Transfer two from the old shop and promote them as the store manager. Zhou Gui Lai approved. Not going to wait for your parents to come back? Ma Ching Min asked. It's just a few shops. Can't I manage it? Zhou Gui Lai asked rhetorically. That wasn't a problem. Ma Ching Min didn't continue. He got someone to handle it. Zhou Gui Lai drove over to the tea shop. Zhou Er and I was there. She was doing the accounts. Zhou Er and I had went to learn to drive for a few days and came back after getting the car license. When Zhou Gui Lai wasn't here, she was assisting Ma Ching Min in managing the business. As for the money collected every day, it was directly placed in her hand. Then she will deposit it in Lin Qing, he's account. Back? I thought you won't be so fast. Zhou Er and I merrily said. Does it need that long? Originally, I could have come back a week in advance. Instead, I stayed a few more days. Zhou Gui Lai grinned and spoke, Sister Er and I, the car outside is yours? Zhou Er and I curled her lips and beamed, your second brother-in-law bought it. After returning from the driver's license test, Wang Yuan bought it for her. Now she directly drove to work. And it was very convenient to pick up the twins in the evening. TSK, as expected of a rich man. I'm going to turn sour. Zhou Gui Lai sat down and laughed. It doesn't count much. Seeing this year's business, I'm even more sour. Zhou Er and I joked. She bared the responsibility of the account and depositing. Was there a need to say how good the profit was? Last year, there were hundreds of thousands. This year, this business was obviously going to go up. Of course, this wasn't surprising. After all, economic conditions were getting better and better. Consumption levels had gone up. Naturally, the profits would too. Of course, it was also because the shop had been in business for a long time. Its popularity was getting higher and higher. 
after all, it was taking the quality path. If the tea wasn't good, it will not appear in the shop. It was all checked. What's more, there was return and exchange policy. The attitude was very good, so the reputation was excellent. Zhou Gui Lai began to boil water to brew tea. He spoke, this business doesn't count much. How can it be compared to second brother-in-law's thousand labor force factory? That is the veritable daily input turn into gold. The two siblings boasted each other's business. The other employees who heard it couldn't help but laugh. Of course, there was nothing to pick at with Wan Yuan's garment factory. However, the bigger the factory, the greater the pressure. After all, how was it easy to feed a large factory with thousands of people? It was true that the profit wasn't small, but there were salaries to be paid every month. That was the true cutthroat cost. One person was 100 or so. 1,000 people meant 100,000 or so. Every month, 100,000 labor costs were paid. The profit here was only 100,000. Completely incomparable. Of course, in this era, when salary of 200 yuan were rare, it went without saying the monthly income of hundreds of thousands was a terrifying amount of income. When compared with the real high level, it still had a lot of shortcomings. Can only say it lagged behind those above, but more advanced, with the one below. Zhou Er and I said, would you like to go and take a look at the courtyard dwelling? Yesterday, I went to have a look with your second brother-in-law. The new furniture is ready and got delivered over. Sure. I'll go and have a look later. Zhou Gui Lai replied. I wonder when fourth uncle and fourth aunt bought the courtyard dwelling. It's very spacious. I almost got lost when I went in. Zhou Er and I remarked. He had visited his own yard. Like a few times. At that time, he got people to rebuild it. He found it very novel. Because he didn't know when his family bought such a large courtyard dwelling. Moreover, it wasn't an ordinary courtyard. This was a veritable double-entry courtyard. The area was too big. He had asked his parents how much they spent to buy it. However, his parents didn't tell him. Nor when they bought it. Yep, they hid it well. After drinking tea with Zhou Er and I, Zhou Gui Lai drove over to the courtyard dwelling by himself. The nanny had arrived this month. Although the house owner hadn't moved in to live yet, she had to clean and take care of the flowers and plants every day. She knew Zhou Gui Lai. When she saw him, she greeted third young master. Zhou Gui Lai strolled around and said, Auntie, they still have a bookcase to make, right? They said the pinewood has been shipped over. The bookcase is nearly completely and will be delivered soon, the nanny replied. N. My parents will be back in a few days. They will move in when they come back. I will trouble you here. Zhou Gui Lai said. Third young master is polite. The nanny responded. Zhou Gui Lai didn't stay long. He drove over to the dry goods shop and carried out two jeans of dried abalone. Then he brought it to his grandparents to have dinner there. However, halfway through the drive, Zhou Gui Lai saw a familiar face. Of course, that guy didn't see him. He was walking on the side of the road. If this person wasn't Su Xin Chong, who was? Why is he out so soon? Isn't it until the end of the year? Zhou Gui Lai didn't stop and let him be. He just muttered to himself. It went without saying he didn't know that Su Xin Chong was released early this morning. The original plan was the end of the year. However, due to obeying the management and performing well, he was released early. Even though they were cousin, there was nothing to say. Those whose paths are different cannot lay plans for one another. It was like this, with brothers, let alone the cousin. Zhou Gui Lai didn't bother with him and drove to his grandparents' place to prepare dinner. Su Xing Chang came back. Zhang Meilian, who watched the shop, was shocked when she saw him. Are you unhappy that I'm back? Su Xing Chang frowned when he saw her startled expression. That place was really not for people to stay. It was enough to stay there once. 
he didn't want to go in anymore. Chang Zi, of course I am happy that you can come back. Zhang Meilian concealed her guilty conscience and said quickly, I was just shocked. Why did you come out early? It can't be that, that you. I was released, not escaped. Su Xing Chang stated. Look at his behavior. His words weren't as aggressive as before. Obviously, his memory had increased during the over two years there. Chapter 634, Let's Have a Baby, only then did Zhang Meilian put a smile on her face. Then she spoke, watch here first. I will go to your sister's side and notify her. She has been thinking about you all the time. I will go by myself. You should rest first. You are tired from the journey back. I'll just go over. Zhang Meilian hurriedly persisted. When she finished talking, she picked her bag. Then she came to look for Su Xing Mei. At this time, Su Xing Mei was naturally not at home. So she saw Zhao Jun. Zhao Jun raised his eyebrows, coming here in broad daylight? Zhang Meilian anxiously looked around. Only making sure there was no one, she felt relieved and whispered in a hushed voice, Su Xing Chang is back. When Zhao Jun heard this, he let her in and said, isn't it supposed to be the end of the year? Why is he back now? How was Zhang Meilian supposed to know? She hadn't asked Su Xing Chang for detail. She got a scare when Su Xing Chang came back without warning. Fortunately, he came back during the day. If he came back at night and Zhao Jun happened to be at home, what should she do? How was Su Xing Chang to know that three days after he entered prison, Zhao Jun went over to his place at night and stayed behind? Needless to say what happened when a guy and girl stayed together. And this relationship had continued to this day. It can be said that Zhang Mei Lian was Zhao Jun's secret lover. Entering the door of Zhao's house, Zhang Mei Lian's hand was pulled by Zhao Jun. She saw that Zhao Jun was calm. She couldn't help saying, what to do now? What what to do? Go about as usual. Zhao Jun said indifferently. So what if Su Xing Chang came back? He would still sleep his wife. It wasn't like it'll get into anything's way? Zhang Meilian hesitated, how about we cut it off? It didn't matter when Su Xing Chang wasn't back because she was also a woman. Her man was locked up and she still got needs. So that night when Zhao Jun came to see her, she half pushed and half allowed it. That was because Su Xing Chang wasn't back. Now he was back, how can they continue? What to do when someone discover this? What's there to worry? Just don't go to your house in the future. We can open a room outside? Zhao Jun said when he saw her like this. I think we should break it off. Zhang Mei Lian hesitated. Can you bear to break it off with me? Zhao Jun responded with a faint smirk. Zhang Mei Lian's face blushed slightly. Honestly speaking, she couldn't bear to. Zhao Jun was really good at it. Although it was embarrassing to admit, she really surrendered to his prowess. Don't worry about this. He won't find out. Let him watch the store. This way, how can he find out? Zhao Jun said. Zhang Mei Lian was slightly relieved by his assurance. Then she looked at him and spoke, Where have you been there these few days? You haven't been to my place. I have been drinking with friends these days. Why? Do you miss me? Zhao Jun teased. Zhang Mei Lian blushed and nodded. Seeing her flirty attitude, Zhao Jun took her to their room on the second floor. When she came out, it was already half an hour later. Zhang Mei Lian sought Su Xing Mei in a merry mood. Su Xing Mei was clueless about this affair. Her brother had been imprisoned for more than two years, and she hadn't never taken step to Zhang Mei Lian's side. How can she possibly find out her getting involved with her husband? But even when she didn't know, it didn't affect Su Xing Mei's dislike of her. She felt that her brother's fighting three times misfortune was due to marrying this woman. If there was a virtuous wife in the family, how could her brother be so unruly? What are you doing here? Su Xingmei angrily uttered. 
Third sister, Xing Chang is back. I came here to tell to you. Zhang Meilian told. Su Xing Mei froze. Then she said, Chang Zi is back? You're not lying to me? How can I possibly lie to third sister? He's really back. Zhang Meilian confirmed. When did he come back? Isn't this at the end of this year? Su Xing Mei hurriedly said. Every time she called back, her mother always asked about her son on the phone. Her voice carried sobbing. Zhang Meilian replied, I don't know. I had asked. He didn't escape. Was released. Su Xing Mei handed over the shop to the employees and left with Zhang Meilian. Although it took a long time, Su Xing Chang didn't say anything. Compared to before going to prison, Su Xing Chang's entire temperament had become calm and restrained. Once Su Xing Mei came over, she sobbingly hugged her brother. Su Xing Chang surprisingly didn't find her annoying. Instead, he said, Third sister, I'm fine. I'm already out. It's good that you're fine. It's good that you're fine, Su Xing Mei repeated. By the way, why did you come out half a year in advance? We haven't received any news. I obeyed the management inside, completed the task, and admitted my mistake sincerely. So they let me out in advance. Su Xing Chang truthfully told. Su Xing Mei was naturally overjoyed. After staying for a long time, she went out to make a call at a phone booth. She wanted to tell her mother about the good news and save her mother from worrying about it. Su Xing Chang turned to Zhang Mei Lian, Mei Lian, let's have a baby. During his time in prison, he had thought a lot. He was really too impulsive and ignorant before. Now he wanted to start again and planned to have a child. With a child, it'll feel more like a family. Inside, he heard from the other men with families and children. Most of them were looking forward to coming out to be a new man and compensate his wife and children well. Zhang Meilian's face became stiff when she heard Su Xing Chang's words. In the past two years or so, she can basically be certain that she can't give birth. Because neither she nor Zhao Jun used contraceptives. Especially when she first got entangled with Zhao Jun. She was hoping Zhao Jun to make her pregnant. If she became pregnant, she can say it's Su Xing Chang's. No worry at all. But in the past two years, she hadn't been able to get pregnant. However, Su Xing Chang came out and wanted a baby. How was she to give birth one for him? N. It's okay to have a child. Still, Zhang Mei Lian forced herself to answer. Su Xing Chang didn't say anything. He turned around to find his elder sister. He had to report his safety to his parents. He came over and saw his third sister was talking on the phone. Obviously, she was talking with his mother. Then he took over. His mother was crying on the phone. Su Xing Chang also patiently talked to her. After chatting for more than half an hour, he hung up the phone. Elder sister, I'm going to visit my grandparents. Uncle and aunt too. Are you going? Su Xing Chang hung up the phone and said, Huh? Why are you going over? Hearing this, Su Xing Mei's eyes reddened. Got to drop by. Su Xing Chang pursed his lips. Forget it. Our family had severed ties with old Zhou family. You don't know how hard hearted they are. Our parents have come here, and they still aren't willing to save you. Su Xing Mei gritted her teeth. Chapter 635 didn't get bullied Su Xing Mei was completely infuriated with old Zhou family. Earlier on, they were dissatisfied with her because of her dating partner. Was it wrong for her to pursue her own happiness? If she didn't fight for it by herself, how can she have a good life? Putting these aside, what about afterward? Later, she took the initiative to lower her head. Their attitude were neither cold nor warm. It was her brother's matter that made her most angry. He was going to be locked behind bar. Old Joe family clearly had some connections, but they won't help. Even when her parents came over and begged on their knees, Old Joe family won't budge. 
Her mother was extremely furious at that time. She directly declared that she would cut off the relationship. No longer have old Zhou family as maternal family in the future. In the past two years, Su Xingmei continued her business, but had never stepped half a foot to old Zhou's house. Maybe cause they are too disappointed in me. Su Xing Chong shook his head. Chong Zi, you don't need to go there. You'll just get scolded and disciplined. Now our family has nothing to do with their family. Why go? Better off running a store than anything else. Now the business is getting better and better. Su Xing Mei persuaded. She had made a lot of money in the past two years and even opened a second branch. She currently ran two stores and earning more than 1,000 a month was an easy task. I'll properly work. However, I have to drop by grandparents' side, Su Xing Chong maintained. He came over the next day. When he came, Mother Zhou was telling the new nanny to make pancakes with fruits. Don't look at her current age. She still got a good appetite and good health. The nanny was from a nearby household. A middle-aged woman. She used to work in a state-owned hotel, but was laid off. Second heard about it and went to invite her. Only need to be responsible for th three meals a day and then wash the clothes. There was a washing machine for the laundry. It can be said to be a very easy job. 130 yuan a month. Of course, she was definitely happy to do it. Usually she would ask Father Zhou, Mother Zhou, and Old Wang what they want to eat. Then she would cook them. Her excellent culinary, cleanliness, and hard-working trait made Mother Zhou satisfied. At first, she felt that the salary was too much. Back in their generation, they may not necessarily save a hundred yuan even when they worked the whole year on farm work. However she accepted it now. She didn't need to buy groceries and cook. She had a lot of time to go to the park and find other old ladies to listen to Beijing opera and sing it. That lifestyle were pretty beautiful. After instructing today's meal, Mother Zhou planned to go out. Then she came across this unfilial grandson. Mother Zhou was stunned and blurted out, Chong Zi, you are out? Grandma, I'm out. Su Xing Chong nodded. Mother Zhou's expression changed, wasn't it supposed to be the end of the year? Don't say you escaped. Su Xing Chong shook his head and replied, Grandma, I was properly released. He explained the reason to his grandma. Only then, his grandma didn't look at him with an angry expression. Mother Zhou was relieved. If he escaped, then old Zhou family will send him back personally. The last time your mother came here, she severed her relationship with me and your grandpa. You don't need to come again. Although Mother Zhou let him in, she harumphed. At that time, she was so mad that she almost didn't catch her breath. Before, she didn't think there was anything wrong with her eldest girl. But now, she seemed to be riddled with bad habits. This grandson became like this must be because of her. If she didn't discipline him well, how could he be so reckless? It wasn't just her educating children. How come Fort's wife educated De Wa and his brother so well? And all of them became successful. Grandma, you know my mother. She loved me dearly. She must have been terrified when this matter happened to me. That's why she was a little bit reckless. Grandma, don't lower yourself to her level. Su Xing Chang responded. I'm too lazy to. I don't expect her to support me. With your uncle and aunt, your grandpa and I don't have to worry. Mother Zhou snorted. The little old lady was full of confidence now. She had a son and a daughter-in-law raising her. She didn't need to look at anyone's face. As for eldest daughter, she was another's daughter-in-law and another's mother. Didn't need her worried about her at her age. So if she want to sever the relationship, then sever. Anyway, they won't see other face more than a few times in this lifetime. Su Xing Chang said, I know that both my uncle and aunt are filial. Since you're out, I won't say anything else anymore. You don't like to letting me say it anyway. Just live your life well. You don't need to go to your uncle and aunt anymore. 
they are traveling and aren't at home. Properly manage your business. Mother Zhou spoke. For this grandson, it was impossible for Mother Zhou to say she wasn't disappointed. How many times did he and his sister make her enter the hospital due to anger? Fourth's wife was right. If she wanted to give up her blessings in the future due to these matter and make her body broken, then there was nothing to say. Just hire someone to go to the hospital to take care of her. No one else had time to go. Everyone was busy with their own affairs. Just a or two days was enough. Who can bear it if was often? It was best to hire someone. So Mother Zhou couldn't be delicate even if she wanted to at that time. She was discharged from the hospital as soon as possible. She also thought it through. Her life was so comfortable now. Grandsons have growth. Granddaughters married well. She and her partner were in good health. Why should she be upset because of her son-in-law's affairs? Especially when her daughter and son-in-law severed the relationship. Mother Zhou felt flame were burning when she thought about it. Wasn't this ruining herself in vain? That's why she thought it through and didn't get involved in these things. She can just live their old couple's life. Su Xing Chong sat here for a while before leaving. Although he knew that his uncle and aunt weren't at home, he still dropped by. He didn't know how much Zhou family had developed in the past two years. He saw Zhou Gui Lai in the tea shop with a big boss who came to buy tea, drinking tea. He was taken aback for a moment. Still, he entered. Zhou Gui Lai knew that he was back yesterday, so he wasn't surprised. He motioned for him to sit. Then continued to introduce tea to the big boss. When the big boss left, he bought 4,000 yuan of tea. Truly a big customer. Come out early? Only then Zhou Gui Lai turned to Su Xing Chang. N. Came to walk around. Is this tea shop yours? Su Xing Chang asked. It was opened the year before last. Zhou Gui Lai nodded and said, Have you been to grandparents' place? I have. Su Xing Chang replied, someone was taking care of me inside. Did Zhou family use connection? The life inside was naturally difficult. However, he didn't get bullied too much after he went in. Someone would help him, but they never said a word. Why would they help him out of the blue? Could only be old Zhou family. Have tea. Zhou Gui Lai saw that him had guessed it and gave him a cup of tea without continuing to speak. Chapter 636, By Ground, Move Home, Su Xing Chong stayed here for a while, and then went back. As for the rest, there wasn't much to say. Zhou Gui Lai, specially dropped by his grandmother's side. He was relieved to see that she wasn't affected in any way. Mother Zhou said, San Hua, you work away. You don't to worry about grandmother's side. Grandmother thought it through. Father Zhou knew about his grandson's release. Even when he heard his wife say that he came out this time and became a whole different person, he didn't say anything. As long as he was sensible, it was enough. Just need to live their life. No need to comment about the rest. When Zhou Gui Lai saw that his grandma's mind was so open, he was relieved. It was fine when he was idle. He went over and opened the dumpling shop. This side started to open the door here to do business. A regular customer couldn't help but said, what's the matter? Now this shop doesn't open at all times. How can you be so willful when doing business? Of course, we're willful. My dumplings don't make money. In the spare time, I treat it as finding something to do. If I don't have time, close it. Open it when we have time. When you want, come eat. Zhou Gui Lai responded. Not making money? I think your dumplings aren't cheap. The old regular customer grinned. It's just superficially taking effort money. Compared with the outside, our families is the most presentable in the area. Zhou Gui Lai stated. The regular customer jollily said, then give me a bowl. Zhou Gui Lai started making dumplings and cooking dumplings. The dumpling shop business slowly began to pick up again. 
As long as the shop opened here and we're old Joe family, there will be few regular customers who came over to eat. In recent years, the profits of the dumpling shop have increased. Speaking with conscience, they were good value dumplings. Others can't compare to theirs. Why else would Joe Goelai still have the intention of setting up a dumpling factory? But it was destined to be not set up so quickly. Lin Ching, he, and Zhou Ching Bai arrived in the capital with little Mimi in a few days. Back in the capital, the couple started planning to buy land. That piece of land wasn't small. Needed to apply for a loan. Naturally, a very rough figure. Based on their family's asset of millions, there was a huge sum short. However, Zhou Ching Bai and Lin Ching, he weren't worried that they will not be able to get the loan. Because the family's savings, plus the family's assets, they can get it approved, no matter what. Although it was only 1988, here was the capital city. The interest-free and unlimited loan method was no longer on trend. It may still be available in rural areas, but not here. Because many debts can't be collected. That kind of loan was also a backward method. Zhou Qingbai wanted all of that piece of land of about 80,000 square meters. It was also relatively remote there. After the relevant personnel determined that they were going to set up a large-scale planting and breeding base, they allocated it to them. An acre of land cost 50,000 or so. A total of 120 or so acres was equivalent to nearly more than 6 million yuan. Even when all the family's savings were pulled in, there was a shortage of money. However, the money was easy to borrow. But they got to hold their family assets in pledge and provide proof. Seeing so many assets under their family's name and knowing that this was a large-scale planting and breeding base, there was interest. After all, it was driving development. Still, there was a repayment period added. They were clearly required to pay within the prescribed period or the land will be reclaimed. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai had no objection. Like this, they nabbed this piece of land. 80,000 square meters. I actually have a piece of 80,000 square meters of land at the capital side. Lin Qing He, who had already seen strong winds and waves, was all excited after getting the relevant documents. Zhou Qing Bai drove her back and jollily responded, Our family should move tomorrow. Tomorrow was a chosen auspicious day. The most suitable for relocation. His family will officially move from the apartment building to the courtyard dwelling. The courtyard dwelling was some distance away from the apartment building. It took about 10 minutes' drive. Let's move. Lin Qing, he nodded. After buying the courtyard dwelling for so long, it should be her turn to enjoy life. So on the next day, Zhou family officially moved. On the day of the move, second brought his match, he Mian Mian with him. Third also came. Basically, all the family's relatives and friends came. Wang family too. Father Wang, Mother Wang, Wang Guadong, and Zhou Cni were present too. Mother Wang was so envious, I didn't know when you bought such a big and good yard. You hide it so well. Her house got a yard, but only 100 or so square meters. This was still relatively small. It can't be compared with this double-entry courtyard. This area was almost equal to six or seven times of hers. It was indeed almost enough to fit six-seven of her small yard. This double-entry can be said to be in the top double-entry. If it was any more spacious, it will meet the threshold of triple-entry. Lin Qing, he merrily said, didn't hide it. Now the renovation is completed, didn't I announce it soon? It is now spacious. If you want to, come over with Old Wang to stay here at any time. You can stay as long as you want. Then I won't be polite with you. Mother Wang grinned. Li Aigua didn't come. Zhou San and I brought Pang Pang over. Pang Pang was eating coconut cake which Lin Qing, he brought back. Is it yummy? Little Mimi asked him. Yummy. Peng Peng was very satisfied with it. Mimi turned to the twins. The twins were drinking coconut milk made with coconut powder. 
The two obviously drink very contentedly. Gift us some to take home to eat later. The twin brother said. Sure. Little Mimi happily nodded. He Mian Mian came over with Zhou Xian last time. It hadn't completely finished renovating before. Now both the furniture and other things were complete. It was really spacious. Mian Mian, come off in here when you're free. Don't be like second. He always nodded home. Lin Qing, he told her. He Mian Mian naturally respected her prospective mother-in-law, and smilingly said, Zhou Xian is just busy. He does miss home. As soon as he is on vacation, he wants to come home. Still got a bit conscience. Lin Qing, he grinned. This year's relocation banquet was exceptionally bountiful. Abalones and sea cucumbers were all served on the table. It was really lively. Father Zhou, Mother Zhou, and Old Wang were all present. So today was naturally a very lively day. I like your family. After eating and drinking, those who cleaned, went to clean up and those relax, went into the room to watch TV and drink tea. He Mian Mian supported Zhou Xian, who had just drunk a little too much back to his room. On the way, she remarked with a twinkle in her eyes. Zhou Xian eyed her attractive lips. He couldn't help but peck it. This made he Mian Mian blush and gave him a light hammer. We will get engaged this year when eldest brother gets married. Zhou Xian said with his arms around her. N. He Mian Mian responded in a whisper. Her heart was full of sweetness. Chapter 637, Mother Mu, because it was a requested day off, he got to continue to work the next day. Zhou Xian and He Mian Mian returned first in the evening. He drove back in He family's car. Lin Qing, he returned after sending them off and said, say, our second seems a bit like marrying into old He family. How about buying him a car for traveling? No need. When they get married, old he family will give it as a dowry. Zhou Qingbai responded. You're overthinking. Lin Qing, he didn't know whether to laugh or cry. If it was later generations, then drop it. Many women's families were willing to give a car as dowry. That's because later generations' cars weren't too valuable. At this moment, it cost tens of thousands. Which was more expensive than a house. Few people were willing to gift this. We'll see. He only come back once or twice a month. Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he felt that he was unreliable, but didn't say anything. It was fine to take it slowly. At the moment, the family's finances were indeed a bit tight. After all, they had just borrowed so much money. He Mian Mian went back with Zhou Xian. She and Zhou Xian arrived at his house and sat around. Then she let him go back. Mother, he couldn't help but pulled her daughter aside and asked, Where have you all been today? Today Zhou Xian's family moved home. We went over. Didn't I tell my eldest brother? Didn't he tell you? He Mian Mian replied. Your eldest brother is very busy. Where do her have time to mind your affairs? Mother he said, you didn't tell your mom clearly last time what's the situation in Zhou Xian's family? Isn't Zhou Xian wonderful? Mom, why are you holding on to this question? He Mian Mian asked. You silly girl, what do you know? If you marry Zhou Xian, then can you not let me, your mom ask these things? Mother he uttered. All right, all right. You ask. I will answer you. He Mian Mian saw her persistence and can only surrender. Mother he naturally didn't hold back, what is Joe family's conditions? Don't pull those nonsense on me. There's nothing wrong with Zhou Xian. Both your dad and I are very satisfied. But you have to be honest about his family. I have told the truth. The conditions in his family are especially excellent. A family of college students. A veritable scholarly household. He Mian Mian told, we went over today. To his family's new home. The previous one was an apartment building. Apartment building? 
Mother he widened her eyes when she heard this. The conditions in these apartment buildings were very poor. She had seen it before. It was inconvenient to do anything. Only those with bad conditions at home would live in that kind of place. Their apartment building isn't too bad. Anyway, that's in the past. Today, their family moved to a courtyard dwelling. He Mian Mian hurriedly said. Mother he didn't believe it, previously lived in apartment building. Now live in a courtyard dwelling? Do you know what the price of a courtyard dwelling is now? I know. Like ours, it would cost hundreds of thousands. Mom, Zhou families isn't any worse than ours, he Mian Mian responded. Mother, he looked at her daughter suspiciously. Mom, I really didn't lie to you. Zhou Xian's mom was originally the director of Bay University's foreign language department. However, she gave birth to a young daughter, so she didn't go to work. But below, the brothers are all high-achieving students from Bay University. As for his dad, didn't Zhou Xian say that he was a self-employed in business last time? He Mian Mian said. And then? Mother he looked at her. Mom, don't you know? His family has a lot of business. He Mian Mian spoke. She grabbed the Dahongpo tea on the table and continued, Mom, look at this Dahongpo. This is what he got from their family's tea shop. And the abalones and sea cucumbers he brought over last time? They are also sold from their dried goods shop. There's also clothing shops. Mother he was a little dumbfounded, there are so many? Then why haven't I heard Zhou Xian mention it? It's not just mom. I haven't heard about it from him. I, myself, thought he was a poor boy. When he Mian Mian reached this point, she didn't know whether to cry or laugh. And she was very concerned about his feelings. Fearing about hurting his self-esteem, she didn't dare to choose two high-end restaurants when she went out to eat steak and drink red wine. Then how do you know? Mother he asked. The last last time we went over, his parents took his little sister out for a trip. We didn't have a place to go, so we went to his grandparents. She was overjoyed to see me and told me I can help watch these shops in the future. Each and every one of them disappeared without a trace and it's unsettling to leave them to the people under. Only then did I catch on and ask Zhou Xian. He Mian Mian explained. Mother he couldn't help but said, the family is so rich, why didn't Zhou Xian mention it? She thought that the conditions of this son-in-law's family should be relatively ordinary. He's always like that. He didn't think there was anything worth saying, so he didn't say anything. He Mian Mian responded. Mother he glared at her, then you told me and your dad that you're settled on him for your whole life when you didn't know anything? That's right. Even if his family's conditions are average, then I'm settled on him. He is he. His family is his family. It's enough as long as he is good. He Mian Mian treated as it was natural. That's cause you haven't encountered difficulties. Mother he coldly snorted. No matter how difficult it is, our family isn't afraid. It's not like we can't hold on, right? He Mian Mian brushed over. Seeing her like this, mother he had a twinkle in her eyes. She spoke, I thought your brain turned into mush after falling for Zhou Xian. It went without saying, he Mian Mian was deeply in love with Zhou Xian. There was no doubt about this. Otherwise, why would her dad help him before they got engaged? Because she liked, she will defend her marriage with Zhou Xian more and will never allow others to ruin it. But that was the plan for the worst case scenario. Actually, Zhou family's side didn't make her worry at all. As long as she and Zhou Xian have no problem, Zhou family's side will have no problem. Knew at a glance, her prospective parents in law weren't difficult to get along with. They were both very kind. Looking at the other relatives, and one can tell, Zhou family's atmosphere. What she told Zhou Xian wasn't false. She really liked the leisurely and approachable family atmosphere of Zhou family. Did Zhou Xian mention about getting married to you? Mother, he wanted it to settle down earlier, so she asked in a hushed voice. 
He said when his eldest brother gets married this year, we will get engaged. He Mian Mian answered with a twinkle in her eyes. Mother he was satisfied and said, I don't know when there will be free. Take me over for a visit there? She can't take her daughter's words as it is. She have to go over and take a look. Auntie Lynn had told me. She wasn't sure when you are free, but she wants to invite you over for tea. He Mian Mian told. Your eldest sister-in-law went back to her maternal home these days. When she comes back, take us there with you. Hearing this, mother he responded. Mother he had three children. Eldest son didn't get into politics. Neither did second son. He was studying abroad. The youngest was this daughter. Since it was related to her daughter's marriage, she naturally needed to go there and meet them. Chapter 638 Meet prospective in law eldest sister in law, he won't come to her in law's house until a week later. When she came back, she heard about it from her mother in law. She agreed, we must go and see youngest sister's future in law's house. There's no time better than the present. Let's go visit tomorrow morning. All right. Mother, he was very satisfied with her eldest daughter-in-law's resolute behavior and approved. If they want to visit, they must notify beforehand. He Mian Mian said, I'll call Auntie Lin. As soon as eldest sister-in-law, he heard that there was a phone over there, she took it into mind. The phone was originally from the dumpling shop. Since the dumpling shop was closed every so often, they spent some money to move it to the courtyard dwelling after they moved over. It was currently 10 o'clock in the morning. Lin Qing, he and the others weren't at home. It was the nanny who answered the phone. It's Miss Mian Mian. Madam and the others are all out. Is there anything urgent? If there is, I will go to the shop and look for them, the nanny said. There is nothing urgent. Just wanted to tell Auntie Lin, my mom and my eldest sister-in-law are going to visit tomorrow morning. He Mian Mian told. All right then. I'll let Madam know when she comes back. The nanny responded. After hanging up the phone, He Mian Mian turned to her mom and her eldest sister-in-law, Auntie Lin isn't home. The nanny answered the phone. When Auntie Lin and the others go back, the nanny will tell her. Their family can afford a nanny? Eldest sister-in-law, he uttered. Zhou family's courtyard dwelling isn't smaller than ours. It's that Zhou Xian is too low-key. You can't tell that he has money at home. He Mian Mian grinned. A big courtyard dwelling. A sedan car. A big truck. Can an ordinary family own this? Eldest sister-in-law, he looked at her mother-in-law, Mom, what shall we bring with us tomorrow? Does his mom drink red wine? Mother he asked after some contemplation. She does. She invited me to drink last time. He Mian Mian nodded. Mother, he decided to bring two bottles of imported red wine. When Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai went home for lunch, they heard about it. Third spoke, Sister Mian Mian's mom and eldest sister-in-law are coming to see the prospective in-law's family situation, right? It's normal to come over and take a look. Lin Qing, he understood. Their daughter had reached the point of dating. As a parent, they must see what family conditions the man have and who was in the family. If they encountered a group of ghosts and monsters, they got stopped the loss in time? 11,000, furniture and home appliances, three golds and one silver, and another 10,000 for the two of them to settle down. Zhou Qing by opened mouth. The 11,000 he mentioned was pure marriage gift money. On top of the gift money, there were furniture and appliances. The three golds and one silver referred to gold necklaces, gold rings, gold bracelets, and silver bracelets. 10,000 for settling down was a guarantee for them to survive after marriage. These family properties were currently owned by the couple. They will definitely be left to future generations after they passed away. But at present, one matter was one matter. It wasn't just second and he Mian Mian. Eldest and Wing Mei Jiao was the same. In the future, 
third will get the same treatment. There will be no difference. Lin Qing, he smiled, it's just coming over and sitting down. Not that fast yet. You can discuss the matter of the engagement. Eldest will get married this year. The two of them can get engaged. It's fine to tell their family in advance. Zhou Qingbai stated. As for whether the bride got a car as dowry, he was casually mentioned it. Anyway, the dowry would be given to the two of them. Got nothing to do with the courtyard dwelling side. The next day, he Mian Mian drove over with mother and her eldest sister-in-law in tow. Zhou Qingbai went to open the dumpling shop. With Lin Qing, he and third staying at home, it was enough. After all, the female side's father didn't come. So he didn't have to attend. Lin Qing, he welcomed her second son's mother-in-law. It was definitely a warm welcome. She received them and merrily spoke, come to think of it, my manners were lacking. I should have asked Mian Mian for a phone number and give elder sister a call to come over and sit down. It's all the same. It doesn't make a difference. When mother, he saw this prospective mother-in-law, Lin Qing, he, she knew very well in her heart. No wonder this prospective mother-in-law can cultivate three high-achieving Bay University students. That temperament was especially different. We have disturbed auntie today, eldest sister-in-law, he followed. No need to say that. If you want to come, I will sweep the couch and welcome you. Lin Qing, he merrily responded. After entering the living room, he Mian Mian put the gifts on the table. Lin Qing, he spoke, coming in person is enough. What need is there to bring gifts? My mom heard me say you like to drink red wine, so she brought two bottles. He Mian Mian curled her lips and grinned. Thank you, elder sister. Lin Qing, he smiled. Mother, he said, it's what I should do. Last time you got Xiao Xian to send the sea cucumbers and abalones and I didn't get to thank you. Delicious, right? I'll prepare some for you. Take it back with you later. It's for you and Mian Mian's dad to eat. Lin Qing, he jollily said. Mother he was naturally polite. Three women can start a play. Lin Qing, he and eldest sister-in-law, he were both able to talk about things. With the addition of Mother He, it wasn't a cold atmosphere, even when it was the first time they meet. From school to business. From children to education. Third, just listened at the side. He held deep admiration. They can really converse. He was responsible for making tea and pouring water. Third is also very tall. But he doesn't look like his second brother. I think his second brother is like mom. Third should be like dad. Mother he merrily remarked. That's right. My eldest brother and I are like our dad. My second brother and my little sister, who is in kindergarten, are like my mom. They are pretty. Got huge advantage. Zhou Guilai said with expression that displayed he experienced a lot. Mother he was amused, your second brother is good looking. So are you. There is nothing to dislike. Zhou Guilai grinned, if I can meet such a reasonable mother-in-law, like auntie, then I have to wake up smiling from dreaming. Your auntie is not only a reasonable mother-in-law from son-in-law's standpoint, but also a good mother-in-law from daughter-in-law's standpoint. Eldest sister-in-law, he continued after him. The two of them praised mother he. Mother he was overjoyed. While he Mian Mian was greatly relieved. Her heart can settle back down. My eldest is going to get married this year. We plan to give a gift of 11,000 yuan. Home appliances and furniture are all included. If we don't need to buy it, we will exchange it for 1,000 yuan and let them buy it by themselves. There is three gold and one silver, which we need to buy. Lin Qing, he mentioned. Dad said yesterday that there is also 100,000 yuan? Zhou Gui Lai cooperatively followed behind. That is the settling down money for the newlyweds. 100,000 yuan. The three brothers all get the same amount. We'll give it to you after you get the certificate. 
Lin Qing, he confirmed. Chapter 639, Wedding Gift and Dowry, Oh, I Want to Find Someone to Get Married to. Zhou Gui Lai commented. All right. You already graduated now. If you want to find someone, you can find. Giving the settling money doesn't mean splitting the family. If you are close and don't mind me and your dad, you can live at home. Lin Qing, he stated. Mother he and eldest sister-in-law, he didn't interrupt. How could they not understand? Eldest sister-in-law, he swept a glance at her youngest sister. She felt her youngest sister's eyes were brilliant. It wasn't that the family didn't want to introduce someone to younger sister. They had introduced, but none of them caught her fancy. Her eyes were set high. At first sight, she fell in love with Zhou Xian, who was sent to deliver a document. She straightforwardly pursued the guy. Quite bold. Still, she got to admit, there was no flaw with Zhou Xian. Whether it was academic qualifications, himself, or his family. And her youngest sister's prospective mother-in-law was also very easy to get along with. High intellectuals were different. This groom's family wanted to give the wedding gift as well other stuff. All of which were clearly stated. What's more, it was extraordinarily generous. It was much higher than when she married into he family, because he family didn't have any so-called settling down money. Of course, they had gave a lot and let her be aggrieved. Especially her man, who was capable. Now he ran a heavy industry factory. However, younger sister's marriage had nothing to dislike. What's more, it wasn't considered marrying down. Considered as marrying to equal level. He Mian Mian, eldest sister-in-law, he, and mother, he came over at 9.30 and didn't go back until 11 o'clock. Naturally, Lin Qing, he offered them to stay for a meal, but she noticed her prospective in-law really wanted to go back. So she took out the prepared gifts. Fish gelatin, sea cucumber, and abalone, packed in a few boxes. Truly a hefty gift. When driving home, mother he had a satisfied smile on her face. Eldest sister-in-law, he merrily spoke, Mom, don't have to worry now. I also want to find an in-law family like this in the future. They hadn't seen the father. But to see what kind of family it was, just observe what kind of person the female master of the family was. The female master was the family's feng shui. Good feng shui meant a good family. Mother he beamingly glanced at her daughter and remarked, Finally, your eyesight is good for once. This kind of family environment. There was really no need to worry. He Mian Mian grinned, Auntie Lin gifted you so many good things, Mom. Eldest's wife, let's have it together. I noticed in-law's mother took care of herself. Not one bit like she's Zhou Xian's mom. When I just saw her, I thought she was his eldest sister. Mother he commented. Eldest sister-in-law, he jollily nodded. She had to admit, her first impression was the same thought. Because she appeared too young. Her body shape was great. And her aura was exquisite. Looking at Zhou Xian, I have long felt that his family is definitely not ordinary. Ordinary people can't nurture that kind of neither humble nor overbearing temperament. Elder sister-in-law, he said. Anyway, Mother He's heart settled back into place in the end after being to prospective in-law's house. When they came home, it was just after twelve o'clock. Father He was at home. Wearing glasses, he read the newspaper waiting for them to come back for lunch. He hadn't gone over there today as he was busy. However, he knew why his wife and eldest daughter-in-law went. Seeing them come back with chatter and laughter and hands carrying things father he understood. He didn't say anything else. Just got the nanny to serve food. Then the whole family ate. Once they returned to the room to rest, father he asked. You haven't been there today. There's nothing to complain with in-law's mother. She speaks witty and calmly. What's more, she's very young. The courtyard dwelling isn't smaller than ours. However, the structure and layout are better than ours. Mother he told. Father, he was very satisfied with this prospective son-in-law. 
In fact, as long as his family wasn't that bad, he will not prevent his daughter from marrying. And he will develop at this side in the future, so there is no need to worry about his family. But taking in his wife's reaction at the moment, it was obvious she was very satisfied with this prospective son-in-law's family. The three sons are all astounding. At first glance, they are people with excellent family education. In-law's mother had discussed the engagement. Mother he said. She listed all the wedding gift mentioned by Lin Qing he. Also, the settling in money. Regarding the settlement money, father, he felt that this old Zhou family was really rich and generous. Then the question came, his family gives so many gifts. What should we give as a dowry? Did Zhou family mention it? Father, he could understand that the extra 100,000 yuan given by Zhou family as family settlement was actually a kind of gift money. Because it wasn't family separation, it was for the newlyweds. She didn't mention this. Probably letting us to decide it. In my opinion, she isn't someone who cares about this. Mother, he replied. They don't care. Won't our family care since we're marrying out a daughter? Father, he said. I know. I didn't say not giving. It's just, what are they lacking now? I heard from Mian Mian that Zhou Xian is already looking for a house. He still has some money to buy one. They don't need us. The rest, I want to give daughter some gold jewelry. But it's not enough to look at. Mother, he responded. The male side's wedding gift was too much money. The female side have it hard. Because it can be worse, but it can't be too much. Otherwise, what about their daughter's face? Moreover, the dowry won't be confiscated by the in-law. They are all for their daughter and son-in-law to live on. So they had to see to fit. How about you go and ask Mian Mian what she want? Father he looked at her and suggested. How can I ask daughter what dowry she wants? Mother he gave him an eye-roll look, from what I see, it would be better to give a car as the dowry. This way, it avoid Mian Mian always borrowing her eldest brother's one. What's more, convenient to go back and forth to her in-law's house. Sigh, a good tens of thousands. Even father he couldn't help but feeling pained. The ten of thousands are for your daughter and son-in-law to drive. What's more, your son-in-law will often live here in the future. Quite similar to being our son. What does it matter? Buy it. Mother he waved her hand and stated. She was really satisfied with the encounter with the in-law today. Besides, since their side were so generous, then they should be generous too. This way, both parties look good, right? Father he was helpless. Still, he nodded, all right then. He could only train the son-in-law. The eldest son entered business, while second son was studying abroad. Nurture the son-in-law well, and he'll be half a son. So things developed like Zhou Qing buys original plan. Old He family was going to gift a sedan car to travel as dowry. He Mian Mian was overjoyed when she knew. She murmured in private to Zhou Xian, I think my mom got stimulated by Auntie Lin. If not, she would definitely be reluctant to buy one for us. A car. Reached the topic of dowry? Zhou Xian knew it after hearing this, and said with a laugh. You already knew? He Mian Mian looked at him in surprise. Eldest brother and eldest sister-in-law engaged early. It was the same at the time. My parents told us three brothers in advance. Zhou Xian nodded. Chapter 640, Won't suffer any loss nor get tricked when buying it you didn't tell me. He Mian Mian grumbled. Today, when she heard her expectant mother-in-law said, she was shocked in her heart. 100,000 settling in money. It was considered a lot of money for her family. This was a veritable large move. Zhou Xian said, don't you know now? He Mian Mian didn't know what to say about him. How many more surprises would he give her? She stated, seeing how careless you are, I will take care of the money at home in the future. All right. Zhou Xian nodded. 
he really didn't have much interest in managing money. It was perfect that she had that intention. The news that Old He family might gift a car was passed back to Old Zhou's house through Zhou Xian. Lin Qing, he grinned and turned to Zhou Qing Bai, is there anything you want to say? What is there to say? It's not for us. Zhou Qing Bai picked up her daughter and was about to go to the tea shop as he replied. Lin Qing, he said, you're still going out? It's nearly lunch. There is still an hour. I will be back later. Zhou Qingbai checked his watch and answered. The main reason was that he promised his little girl that he would take her out for a walk. So even when it was almost time to eat, he still went out and strolled around. As for old, he family's dowry car, Lin Qinghe and Zhou Qingbai didn't spread it outside. The old he family's conditions were great. What's more, second, and he Mian Mian did need it. Because a car was perfect when they come here on day off. While eldest and Wing Mei Jia don't need to use a car. There were everything on the campsite. Even when they go to the surrounding county towns, there were special cars. Truly no need. Moreover, although the conditions of old Wing family were relatively well off, they really can't be compared with old He family. This kind of thing was nothing. After all, the dowry had nothing to do with the elders. There was no need to specially bring it out and announce it. Zhou Qingbai took Mimi out for a walk. When they came back, they brought Jiang Gun back. Day off? Auntie has cooked chicken soup today. Drink more later. Lin Qing, he jollily said when she saw her godson coming. Jiang Gun grinned, Godmother, after I came here to study, I ate a lot of chicken. Even if you don't come, we will still eat it as usual. We didn't make it specially for you. We just share a bite to you. Lin Qing, he smiled and responded, leaving on Sunday? Monday, I will stay here for a few more days. It's comfortable and peaceful. Jiang Gang answered. His godmother and godfather bought such a large courtyard dwelling. Since living her, he can't describe how comfortable it was. This year you have grown a bit longer. Tomorrow, I will go to the clothing store to get two new sets. Lin Qing, he brought up. I can wear still this current one. Leave the rest to later. Jiang Gang said. Lin Qing, he nodded. Soon Third and Gang Zi came back. Third spoke, Dad, will you still open the dumpling shop? Now you're fishing for two days after drying the net for three days. Zhou Qingbai indifferently replied, go when you have time. Today, daughter had a day off. He must prioritize taking her to play around. Gun Ah. Uh. Why are you back so soon today? There are still two classes in the afternoon. Zhou Guilai asked. I have one class swapped to the morning. The other one is in the afternoon. The content isn't important. Don't need to go. Jiang Gung smiled. Dad is too lazy now. Then go to the dumpling shop with me this afternoon, to help. Zhou Gui Lai began to pull in labor. Okay. Jiang Gung agreed. Remember to take your brother to the clothing store and pick two new clothes. Lin Qing, he ordered. Zhou Gui Lai acknowledged it. When they had lunch, Zhou Gui Lai talked about High City's side. He had to go and see it again in a few days. Although the original plan was to go there once a month, the other side only started operating. Zhou Gui Lai planned to check there often. Lin Qing, he said, bring you two cans of coconut powder to Grandpa Jiang. Mom, how much coconut powder did you buy last time? Why do I feel like we can't finish it? Zhou Gui Lai commented. I know someone over there. When I want, I can get someone to send it over by post. Lin Qing, he explained. Because she liked it so much, she bought a lot of it and put it in the space. Okay, I'll bring two cans there. By the way, you didn't get Sister Mian Mian to take a can back when she came over last time. Zhou Gui Lai pointed out. It didn't come to me. Wait for your second brother to come back next time on a day off. Lin Qing, he said. 
After eating, the family watched TV together. Gangzi spoke, youngest maternal aunt, auntie found me a shop. I have some hesitation. Where? Lin Qing, he asked. The east side. Gangzi told. That's pretty good. Lin Qing, he said after hearing this. The location is good, but the shop is a little small. I went to see it and wasn't satisfied. Gangzi responded. Your maternal uncle is free today. Get him to go over and check it for you later. Lin Qing, he said. Gangzi smiled at his maternal uncle, then youngest maternal uncle, will you go with me? Three in the afternoon. Zhou Qingbang nodded. After eating, he played with his daughter for a while and prepared to take a nap. Lin Qing, he also came to take a nap. As expected, after moving here, it was really spacious. Before, she lived at the apartment because they got to live there. After staying in the courtyard dwelling, she can't stand living in the apartment. When Third comes back from High City, I plan to go south with him. Lin Qing, he told him. Let him take Qing Min. Zhou Qingbai said as he gazed at his wife. I'm going to see how the Longjing TR. I have to personally go and see it before I can be rest assured. Lin Qing, he persisted. Her tea shop was intended to be a long-term business. Not the kind that intended for making a fortune. The reputation must be well managed. She started ordering this batch of Long Jing last year. It must be personally checked. Zhou Qingbai kind of wanted to go there together. Lin Qing, he ordered him, don't go. Stay at home. I'll go with third. Really? They were already old couple. Was there a need to follow wherever she go? Zhou Qingbai uttered, we'll see. Lin Qing, he amusedly scolded, properly check the shop in the afternoon. If it's not suitable, then don't want it. Let Gang Zi find another one. N. Zhou Qingbai answered. At three o'clock in the afternoon, he brought Gang Zi over to see the shop. Although it was located in the East City, the shop was terrible. The location was actually okay. Just a bit small. If they want to make snacks, it can work. Don't need much land. But if he open other shops and do other businesses, then it's definitely not enough. It's up to you. You won't suffer any loss nor get tricked when buying it. Zhou Qingbai turned to his nephew and said. Even if it is bought and kept due to land being equivalent to gold, the final choice was still in the hands of the nephew. Then buy it? Gang Zi said as he scratched his head. Buy it. Zhou Qingbai nodded, buy it and renovate it. It's fine to rent it if you don't to open the shore. Knowing the housing prices in the later capital city, he will recommend buying it as it won't do badly. Won't suffer any loss nor get tricked when buying it can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.